would be nice. That's the argument for consoles, though, isn't it? <laughs> you just plug it in and it works. Now, if only you could get all the same settings and uh, performance out of it. <laughs> be perfect. They're just trying to get your blood pressure up at the end of the night. That's all it is. Yeah. And at least a few hundred bucks, if nothing too crazy is bad. And if you're if you know a guy, you're like, hey, I know a guy. The guy will do me a favor. That comes in real handy for this kind of thing. Yep. <laughs> Go on, Hex. Go on, Eclipse. Oh, I like how. All of a sudden, my Helldivers is, is not full screen anymore. It decided to... Interesting. Oh, yeah, no, it's... I think it's still going to be stuttering. Option... Play... It's on full screen. What? Portalless window? There we go. Hex, breathtaking as ever. Here, we'll, we'll lower it down to like medium. Alright, is Travis still in here or no? Social online still. You're fighting people. I could always uh, jump in if you're ready for one. I don't know how long it's going to take these guys to finish this. <laughs> Only level 26. Well, the problem is I play a lots of different games and I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. You know what I mean? Like, Destiny, Destiny damaged me, Hex. I don't, I don't play games anymore like I played Destiny one, uh, back in the day. Destiny, Destiny hurt me. I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I, don't I, I don't trust. Destiny two's done that to me. Yeah, I don't trust playing games like nonstop anymore. I, cause I get burnt out, and then I like regret it and hate it. I'm like, yeah, I'm done with that game. I didn't, I didn't want to do that with, with this game. Probably a smart idea to be honest. Allied Destroyer has joined Squadron. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't really. I wasn't upset about Destiny about throwing like the money at it. I I really did enjoy the Destiny one, the first four years, and then even Destiny two when it came out up until Forsaken. But then when they started saying shit like, you know, um, because you bought stuff in in Eververse is why we could make missions and. They were sunsetting gear and all that stuff. I was like, yeah, no. I know what you're doing. I was like, I'm out. Yeah, they're making way more money than that in micros now in that Eververse store. It doesn't seem like it's that stuttery anymore. Mm, yeah, your stream no. looks, it looks, it looks good fine. right now. Right? Yeah, imagine getting upset about content not being made and then buying the <laughs> buying the next thirty dollar skin. Yeah, yeah. Why won't they make content? Well <laughs> Why would they make you a thirty dollar season or expansion when they can just uh -huh. sell a thirty dollar Mass Effect skin per you, character. You gotta make a you gotta make a video, <laughs> yeah. Kingard, about the uh Ubisoft uh Star Wars Outlaws like 
Uh, I play, am play stuff? in. I'm in the script writing phase of an Ubisoft video right now. Are you? And I am just by complete happenstance, You're and I am debating on whether Ubisoft it's going to be another don't pre-order entry, yeah. and it's going to heavily point at Star Wars Outlaws, or if it's just going to be a video over Ubisoft's overall mediocrity. Um. Do, Could do have one decided. or the other in both. Yeah, do a, do a little research on the Outlaws because they're doing they're doing a. I'll give you a rundown real fast, right? So they have four. They have a seventy dollars version, which is it comes out on a Friday, right? And I was like, oh, that's weird. It's coming out on Friday. Why do you think it comes out on Friday? Because they give you a three day early access, which then leads you up to Tuesday, which is when games mm -hmm. usually launch, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's one hundred nine dollars for the the Tuesday launch for three day early access. You get get um the season pass is included with that. Okay, so now it's a single-player game uh, with a season pass, which they've already announced that they have DLC coming out for it, but you don't know when that's coming out. So it's $109 for the season pass with the uh, what, bundle of cosmetics that come with it and the three-day early access. Then they have $139, I think it is, for three-day early access, digital art book. Um, oh, and, and mind you, there is no physical copy, okay? It's all digital, but you can buy a physical copy, but the physical copy is not really a physical copy. It's a, you have to have the internet to download the game when you buy the disc, when you put the disc in. Mm-hmm. And then they made the problem. Single player game. Yeah, a single player game. And then they made the problem and then sold you the solution. The solution is Ubisoft Plus Premium, 18 bucks a month. Um with the season pass, you get all the stuff that you got in the $139 version, but it's on the $18 version of the Ubisoft Plus. But in Ubisoft Plus, it's so stupid to say you get the season pass because, yeah, I get the season pass if I pay $18 a month and when the season pass extension comes out. But if I stop paying for the $18, then obviously I'm not going to get the... <laughs> I'm not going to get the season pass or anything else. Right. So, I mean, that's going to be the way of the future anyway. It's all going to be subscription-based eventually. Not that not I'm not excusing that. I think that's terrible, but I I see that direction that we're headed. Yeah, yeah. Ready for another the worst part is, though, I think... Same like, with TV Suicide and movies, Squad, no different. Yeah, Suicide Squad charge $30 for the three-day early access, right? Ubisoft's like, hold my beer. We're going to charge 40 <laughs> right? We're going to charge 40 for that three-day early access. Yeah, Hex, if you want to come in, you can come in. We have an extra spot. The enemy has launched a surprise attack on one of our planets. It needs our aid. The operation proceeds smoothly. Kinger, you said you don't like the red dawn on this heavy machine gun? Oh, there, there is no... Oh, you mean the sights? I've actually never yeah, tried it. Yeah, name down sight. Uh, red dawn. I've only ever shot from third person, which I probably should try first person on a thing. First person feels better on a lot of the guns. Yeah. You get a little more range out of it. It's like way more steady. Here you go, uh, Hex. There's the uh, there's the friend code right there. 5210-1933. Succeed in the defense of at least five planets. Okay. Launch ICBM, best mission in the game. Or at least the best payoff. It's definitely pretty cool. Hell oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. They updated it to where the Hell missile launch will blast pass. you backwards now. Like, if you're just if you're standing too close. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I See, I like the little stuff that they do in the game, like the meteor shower and, and stuff like that. I mean, I know as a gamer, it's, it's some of it's a pain in the ass, but at the same time, I really like how they're make you feel more lived into the world. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, their blatant disregard for, like, what's fair and what is easier on the player has made has objectively made this game better. Right. Like, they refuse to turn off friendly fire. Good. Makes it more fun. Yeah, I think it's a good choice. 
Make sure you all uh, check out your brand oh, new just... free cape celebrating the 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 win of Malevolon Creek. Jesus, these flame tornadoes are crazy up close. You send it through Steam? I don't I don't see anywhere. Oh, is this you? Okay, there it is. It didn't it didn't show up. There it goes. Jesus, these flame tornadoes, man. Flame. They're not that bad when they're a good distance away when you gotta fight near them, though. Jesus. Did they add anything else to the, uh, this, like the, like the heavy machine gun that you told me about? Let's see, the barrage. Heavy machine gun, quasar, cannon, and the exosuit. The quasar cannon is further down with the, uh, other weapons. Exosuit? What the hell is the exosuit? Oh, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 20, the mech. 20 grand. I don't have that. Yeah, we earned that. We won that thing fair and square. We had to fight for it against the automatons. Yep. But yeah, that stuff about Star Wars Outlaws is nuts. I mean, people will buy it. It's... Oh yeah, Ubisoft, Ubisoft is such a. Are they developing it or just publishing it? No, Massive Entertainment is the one who uh, developed it. Okay. People are gonna buy it for that three-day early access, the hundred thirty-dollar version. That's exactly right. That's what wow, Starfield did. Sure. Starfield. That's a lot of people were like, "Oh, Starfield didn't make it." Uh, who's Couch Potato? I was just about to say, you know, they're probably they're probably just looking. Oh, your lobby might not have been private, so people might have just joined us. You can kick him. Yeah, I got him. Uh, how do I make the lobby social? I don't think you can now, right? Um, you can kick people. No, I kicked him. You should. But I don't remember making it. I don't know if you can make it private, actually. I thought it was for, like, friends only. I thought friends, friend requests, friends. Gameplay, accessibility. Options, gameplay, graphics. Is it not under social? Oh, public. There it is. Friends only. I got it. Robert Jones, thank you very much for the 13 months. Abandoning the mission was a disgraceful conduct. You have set your super earth back 0.001%. For this, you must pay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where do I report to? Uh, where do I report? your hell pod you coming uh argus <laughs> or are you uh you gonna finish that out um i'll probably join you i don't know if these guys are extracting anytime soon Ooh, they're getting deleted by these let me see let's see yeah i'll leave them i always think it's funny though like you look at a game like this and people have such double standards, right? Where you're doing the same thing over and over. Because it's fun, people forgive it. But if it's another game... Like, I just watched... Um, what the hell is that game that someone showed me in, in Discord? Right? IGN gave it a 7. Let me let me find the name of this game. Uh, it is called... They, they posted it in the gaming channel. Skull and Bones. No, no. It wasn't Skull and Bones. <laughs> <laughs> Which they did give a 7. Yeah, they did give that Not a seven. Not the worst game I've ever played, to be fair. It was a game called... What did you guys put it? Where did Water put it? General? Oh, here it is. It's called Outpost Infinity Siege. Okay. And the story mode in the game, they said, is absolute trash. Right? Absolute trash. And yet they gave they, yet they gave the game a seven. Even though, because they said, oh, the gameplay of this and this and this is fun. But meanwhile, they'll they'll go to another game with just bad story. They're like, it's a three. 
story sucked, and that's like, well, what about the rest of the game? It doesn't matter. Story sucked. <laughs> hmm. Uh, let's start off. I guess we'll start over here. Start over here. Hell divers to hell pods. Go around. Here, What's going on, Hex? Start at seven and, and move around. Let's. Yeah, the game looked interesting, Rob, because uh, it was like, it was like a real-time strategy, like tower defense slash first-person shooter. It was, it was very interesting the way it was shown. I just find it funny the double standards people have over stuff. Yeah, people definitely do. If it's a game they like, everything's getting overlooked. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, and especially with Star Wars stuff, with like Star Wars games. If, oh, absolutely. Because people like Star Wars, man. They they want it to be good and. And I want the game to be good, I, and I have no problem with the game itself. I have a problem with the, the monetization, not the monetization, the business strategy, I guess you can say, with Ubisoft. Yeah. I'm waiting to see what they sell, like, a month after it actually launches, because it ain't going to launch with it. Robert Jones said you need a supercomputer to run it. Well, I guess I'm out then. <laughs> Unless my uh, cloud PC can handle it, that's me too. <laughs> it can handle a decent amount. I think it, the version I have has like a 3070 equivalent or something like that. It ain't no 4090 though. 4090s are so last year, Argus. Come on, you gotta get like the the new True. 50 series. Are they coming out with yeah the 50 series yeah. this year? <laughs> That's the one thing I, I hate about PCs, man. It's like, no matter what you buy, the next game that comes out, you're like, nah, can't run it, bro. You need max graphics, ultra settings. You need you need the latest, greatest thing. Doesn't Cyberpunk 2077 have the most intensive graphic fidelity type thing going on right now? Yeah. With its path tracing, ray tracing stuff. I forget to ready up. Hex is level 46. You know, I was playing a match before I got on, and there was like a, was it 63 or 67? There's already guys at at, at 150. I didn't even know it got that high. It, it, they just well, they, put it in the They game. just raised that yeah. cap a few days ago, yeah. Oh, my Gee, God. People why, are why obsessed is it, with this. What is there even to do at that Why point? is this locking up on, on entry? What's going on? Yeah, oh it's uh, stuttering on stream again a little bit on the dive. I guess... It's smoothing out, kind of. It's like going back and forth. Yeah, we'll see. Here's the test. See how it is if this is still, it still looks stuttery. If this is stuttery, chat, we might, we might just not be able to play. I don't know what's going on. Actually, it doesn't look that. Doesn't look that bad. Yeah, it looks okay. Uh, doesn't look bad now that you're on the ground. I don't know what it is about the drop. It's wonder wonder because that is a loading screen we're on. I wonder if your PC is having trouble. I don't know. Maybe the game is having trouble loading, and then also something to do with your stream. But once we're here, it's not so bad. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, that's right. All right, this is level three, so this might be too easy. You missed the door. <laughs> Is that what all these explosions are over here? <laughs> I forgot I have sun grenades on. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Are they done? I was good? like, I was like, How that's do you in the uh, new pass, right? <laughs> like bad aim, Corporal. <laughs> Back to Freedom Camp with you. You'd imagine that AOE would bust it open anyway. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. I was like, wait a minute, that's not opening. <laughs> I've been liking this, uh, this heat gun here. Found something. Don't ever got to grab ammo as long as you don't let it overheat. In an eagle. That was a pretty good fire rate. I think light armor penetration. 
Someone dropped a fat boy over there. Boom. Started the party without us. What happened over there? That's very, very satisfying. I'm taking out this little outpost over here. Is that a birthday candle? What happened over there? My Back commander, my my commander said, if I'm not shooting a bullet every uh, every minute, then uh, I'm gonna get court-martialed. So there you go. Just Sounds just about like, right. Gotta spend some of those democracy bullets for uh, tax purposes. Yeah, the tax you can't write off. it off. If you don't right. use it it's them. a ta tax write off. Oh, we got some. Stuff over here. Got a oh, Probably ought to go back north. I think if we want to go the direction of the mission, we'll want to go clockwise. I found the all the civilians over here. They uh, they look great. Tagging They're looking good. <laughs> They're looking comfortable over there. Which way are we? Okay, yeah, okay, we'll go back. Man, I've never had something so, like, like, just drain me so fast of, like, hype to not hype with Outlaws. Like, I'm excited for the game, but the price, I'm like, I can't justify that. Mm. Can't just, I can't justify $130 for three days. It's for, for three day early access. With uh, with the season pass and whatnot, it's a hundred and ten dollars. Oh heck no! What was what do you get extra for the hundred and thirty? Just the digital. You get the art digital art book and, and like two other like cosmetic bundles or some some stuff. Mm. Hard pass. And it's funny because I, I made a video earlier today, um, and I said if you just wait two months, it'll go on sale, oh, right? And I showed a, a picture of Skull and Bones, and I showed a picture of of uh avatar and both of those are already like forty dollars and they were both they were <laughs> both they were both 120 dollars when they came out yep they've been on sale a few times i feel like yeah i mean just buying it buying it, almost any game really these days when it first comes out like you're signing up to get like the worst version of the game at the most expensive price Absolutely. And if you wait, it will be cheaper and also either fixed or content complete, at least more so than it was when it launched. Yeah, it, it's so ass backwards, right? The people that buy first, that pay the most, are the fucking testers, right? The they, they, just, they get disrespected, the get they wait for the game to get better, and yet the people that spend less, they get a full complete game. It, it, it's so ass backwards. Better performance, yep. more content, less money. Dude, this shotgun's basically a sniper. This I slugger. To shoot a weapon. Which, a slug which way, left gun. or right? Uh, go ahead and turn. Oh, is it ready? Watch it above you. Oh my Keep dear God. Sorry. <laughs> what was that? You're good. Right there. The ship came down on you. <laughs> oh my God. Go. That's that's what a traitor would say. Yeah. Oh, uh, it was it was the a bug on you. I, I didn't mean to punch you in the face. There was a bug on you. It. What is this ship? Did it crash? Pretty cool. Yeah, I shot it down. The one that fell on my head. I, I dropped it on his head by accident. <laughs> oh wait, we gotta we gotta throw grenades in this thing, right? Yep. I think I'm it stuck under totally it. Totally not intentional, my friend. Yep, I am stuck under it. Dang it! I crawled under it to get my samples out. Now I'm stuck. Oh. I'll get you. That'll do. <laughs> a good melee will get you out of there. Give me a sec. Really? Yeah, that's how you get people unstuck. I'm doing this for your own good. It's going to hurt me more than you. Maybe. <laughs> oh, you have a shield on. Dang it. Keep battering it. It'll go away eventually. Uh, It'll oh. eventually sink. Into it worked. The Thank you. Yeah, I knew it'd sink eventually. I just don't know what that, what that time is. Need time, though. Mm-hmm. Right.
right, Robert. That's the Ow. problem. You gotta have the things now. And a lot of people are that way. That hype gets them pumping. They don't want it a week from now when nobody's talking about it anymore. They want it right now. Yeah. Yeah. You're a and loser I don't, if I mean, you play a game on, on launch day. <laughs> yeah, Actual in, launch day. Yeah, right. Not everything cool already. You're jumping in. All the, like cool, a, all the cool kids are playing it 24 hours early. No, I mean, people 72. misinterpret it. People mis misinterpret it all the time. It's like, oh, so you're just trying to tell me how to spend my money. I don't yeah. care how people spend their money. I care what's being asked of me because of the way people spent their money. Exactly. That's, that's what I care about. It's not necessarily how you spend your money. Back, it's how you spend your money on me. Get back. Yeah, that it's like if, if right there, that was a hell bomb. I uh, shot and I thought all y'all were close to it. I was gonna surprise you all, but nobody was. So <laughs> I was almost there. I was like, yeah, please don't do that. In our yeah, it's just like when when everyone buys that hundred and thirty dollar edition. It's like, what do you think? What do you think the next game is gonna do? $130. Right. Toward that hundred sixty dollars. That's what they're doing. People don't get it, man. Like exactly it. Like, dog, uh, Dragon's Dogma two, right? Yeah, it's not a big deal that the the microtransactions in the game. You don't need to buy them to play the game. But it's like, they know that they added that last time. And what can we add this next time? How much more can we can we give? You know, to get them to spend. That's that's what they keep I doing. I got some mad people in my comments about my video on that. Oh yeah, did they? The did thing they cry? is, the highest price of games for their most expensive version used to only be a hundred dollars for basically all of them. Now we're up to the new highest is one hundred thirty. Some are more than that. Yeah, they're slowly. Yeah, there, there. Some up. people, some people were mad. I guess they're. Whoop! Didn't mean to do that. People who were, I guess, they fans of the first game played the first game, whatever. I don't know. It's just when people, when you, when you criticize a game or a series. There's a lot of people out there that immediately yeah, take like, that as a personal yeah, attack. Yeah, it's like you t you called their their son or daughter ugly. You know what I mean? They take yeah, it super, like dude, you yeah. know how you know how much like just hate and criticism and just crapping on that I I sift through about Alan Wake too. I don't I don't take it personally. It's not everybody's cup of tea. That's fine. But, but there's people out there that if I'm like, hey, yeah, Dragon's Dogma two. Uh, there are some greedy sons, Capcom, some greedy sons of guns for adding that in the game, just to see who all will buy it. Oh, you don't even know. You you've never played yeah, the first kid. one. That's cool. You you the games are the, you know the fast travels hard on purpose. Blah 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 blah. blah. It's like ugh, that can be true, but it can also be true that they're trying to they're trying to push the boundaries. Yeah, it could be true that in this one they specifically designed the layout and how hard it is to travel and how many of those items are in the game around. Well, maybe they'll uh, buy some if we only put this in. They started in the, when the game when the game launched, you could only change your character uh without like getting one of the later on tomes that lets you do it I think infinitely, like way later on. You could only change your character appearance twice for free. After that, you had to buy it's such a stupid uh, character creator. It's such a stupid little thing to do. You know what I mean? Just to I make know, a, yeah, I know. Just I to know. make two dollars. They also make it so you couldn't get, uh, you couldn't even make a new character. That's when it, at launch, yes, you couldn't, you couldn't make a new character or even start okay, a new file. A new there, there was no delete file, no new game, nothing. And it's like, well, now they added it to where you can, you can get ninety nine of the tomes that lets you change your character's appearance. People are like, oh, see, yeah, that was their plan the whole time. No, it wasn't. Absolutely. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It's it's a single line of code that changes one number of the number of items in the game. I mean, it's not you don't find them. You just pick them up from a shopkeeper. Like it's just a, a, a number on a menu. If you're you're kidding yourself, if you think they didn't make it two on purpose to sell them. Five. Oh my man. Eight. Nine. They're like. How do you even know that's why they're doing it? How do you know it's affecting the gameplay? It's like common damn sense. Like, what do you have to yeah, think common, if they're selling it, they didn't just design it so you wouldn't buy it. <laughs> question number one, is it something that... Oh, question number one, is it something that has historically not been in games? 
Question number two, are they charging money for a solution to the problem? If both of these are yes, then they're doing it on purpose. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's foolish to think that they don't. It is. Same with Ubisoft and what was it? Uh, Valhalla, maybe even some of the ones before that when you can buy like the XP booster and the, the gold booster. Oh, yeah. If, yeah. if there wasn't a point for them to even need to be in the game, then why would they not just design it with that percentage of XP and gold? And not right. sell one. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the point is people are like, oh, well, they're doing that to help people cut corners who don't have as much time. No, if they wanted to help people, they would just lower the grind rate. It's as simple exactly. as that. Same solution. Yeah, they, they, they wouldn't would ask they wouldn't ask time. for money. Yeah, that's the argument I see a lot too, is uh it's for the dads who come home and only get two hours a week. Really? Well I'm doing maybe yeah, they I'm would doing just, just play a different game then. Yeah, I'm doing just fine on Hell I can't I can't move this thing. It's not am I doing this wrong? You guys might have to do this. And it's not working for me. Thing. It's working for me. I, I couldn't move it. I couldn't move it with the. You just moved your left analog stick, right? Uh, I think it's the arrows. Oh, is that what it was? Okay. Well, I, I use controller. I, I assume it's the arrows. On the keyboard too. Same arrows that you would do stratagems with, whatever okay. those are. Okay. D pad. Yeah, and the people who do defend it, oof, they defend it fervent. <clears throat> Yes, they, they do. will go back and forth with you all day about how it's perfectly acceptable and fine, and it doesn't affect the gameplay. And yeah, because yeah. like, hey, if you if people you make defend some, it, if you, if you say something matter? bad about something, they want to defend it because you're you're take they're taking get away it, like, from it. You're calling them dumb. You're calling them, you know, a bad consumer. You're calling them. They take it so personal. You're calling them stupid for making that choice. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll call them stupid. I, I'm, 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 I'm the <laughs> not, same way. I'm not afraid. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid way. to do that. <laughs> All hail. Let freedom ring, baby. Salute the explosion. Look at that. See, they didn't have to add the shockwave, and I'm so glad they did. Right, just a little thing. That's it's what I was saying so earlier. Cool. Just the little, yeah, little things should. like that. Yeah. Awesome. So cool. We also have the modifier right now of uh, earthquakes that stun us from time oh, to good. time. As well. Oh, is that why uh, I, I'm like? That's why you could get randomly stunned. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like walking really weird too when that happens. I read it before. Yeah, that's what it is. I read it uh, before we came in. There's a little modifier on oh. right now. My uh, video on Pay to Progress and Dragon's Dogma 2. It is my worst performing video I've had in a long time. It's got my worst dislike ratio I've seen in a long time, but it's also got the most comments that I've seen where that I can recall where people they'll comment like I don't see what the big deal is, and then later it's like edit, just watch the video. I concur. <laughs> even the even the a lot of the content creators covering it are like everyone's making a big deal out of this. It doesn't affect the game whatsoever. They're cheap. They you don't need any of them. So like, well, yeah, you needing them isn't really the issue to begin with. That just makes it worse Correct. to do. I, well, what also hurt the whole situation is that a bunch of people weren't being honest about them. Like they were saying, they were saying that you have to ha you have to pay to be to fast travel, which is not true. And they were saying like you have to pay to change your character creator at all. That's not true. And then it turned into it's kind of like it's kind of like one of those hoaxes that's half true. Get back! When, get back! Get back! Get back! When it run when it gets revealed as not being totally accurate people will start to dismiss all of it even the parts that are true and that's kind of what happened part of that coping they want to win so they're gonna as soon as something's wrong they're like see you you didn't even yeah but know. as the company it's it's pretty shitty where they give you like seven fast travels but the eighth one you have to pay for yeah well but even even so you like so you're put you're, that in more you're, chests you're, around the map well, your port crystals are limited to 10, and you can get to all 10 either by finding them or by buying, I think the maximum is 3, so you have to still find the other 7. And that's the big defense is that, well, you can still find all of them in-game. You don't have to pay for them. But the problem is that you're you're paying to skip gameplay. Right. That is, that's effectively what it is. So if companies know people will buy a game to be played, and then pay to skip the game play, 
why would they be incentivized to make the game fun exactly or or not tedious at that point if they know people will pay more money to skip it it's like it's like i wish i'd said this in my video but it's like this imagine you go to a movie theater and you pay full price for your ticket maybe 10 12 bucks and you go in and they're like hey well if you pay an extra two dollars you can fast forward it and get to the end faster Okay, well, for starters, that's weird. You came to see a movie. Why would you want to see it? Why would you want to pay extra for it to be over sooner? But whatever. The problem becomes when the movies start coming out and they're already playing at like half speed or a quarter speed. And you're like, dang, this movie's really slow. Like, visually, I can see it's really slow. Why is it so slow? And they go, well, if you pay $2, you can right. speed it up to, right. to normal speed. Oh, you want to watch that's the 4K the, that's version? The problem. Yeah, you want to watch the 4K version? Here you go. Here's the. Extra money. Yeah, the pr the problem is not people wanting to blow their money on on stupid nonsense. The problem is when people when studios see the stupid nonsense as oh let's make that the standard, let's force that to be the standard. Yep, because it may be optional now, but they're just testing it to make it non-optional. That's, that's exactly later. right, and people don't understand that they're, they're testing. They think that oh well it doesn't affect me, so it's not a big deal. Well, it yeah, doesn't right. affect right this now. Is where it starts and stops. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't like it, don't buy it. It's just like, dude. <laughs> that's the worst it's... argument ever. If you don't well, like it, don't buy it. Yeah, that's like, the same well, people that watch you your videos you when they don't game. like it. You know what I'm saying? Then you won't have a choice. But like, I don't like what you're saying in the video. If you don't like it, then don't watch it. You know what I mean? It's like it's the same mentality, yeah. but they don't they don't follow their own device. They they still want to comment and, and and stuff. They don't understand the point of the argument of well, if you keep saying the the amount of people that are actually going to choose to not buy it aren't really affecting anything. The people who are buying it are giving them more than enough money. Yeah. So if you don't complain and try to fight against it, eventually you won't have that option anymore to just not buy it because it'll be in every game. Here's my, maybe this shouldn't be a hot take, but it probably is. I, I decree that if you feel tempted to pay to skip playing the game that you already bought, then you bought a crappy game. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I agree. Like how 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 fun can it really be if you're like, huh? I would pay extra to play less of this. I would pay <laughs> to not do this. Yeah, right. Yeah. I love it so much. I'm gonna pay more so I so I don't play it. Yeah, it's like I I get people that want to support extra. Like, sure, sure, whatever. You know, like Helldivers. People are like, oh, I didn't have to. Oh my god. That's awesome. I, I think that was very cool. People are like, oh, I didn't have to pay any money, but like I wanted to because I, you know, I wanted to support them. I'm like, you know what? That's fine. You weren't there. You weren't pressured to do it, and you did it by your own accord. Um, it's it's different when it's the game is fundamentally designed around making you feel like you have to. Yeah. Like this this game is absolutely one not. Does it. Once one does it, now you're sus you're suspecting all the other games are doing it because you don't know. They ain't right. gonna tell you, so you're just gonna assume they're all doing. Right, and, and people are like, awesome. oh, pe pe oh, good, glad you like it. People are like, no, that wouldn't happen. You're just being paranoid. Well, brother, they did it with. They're just being uh, delusional. They, they did it with Marvel's Avengers, and they did it with Battlefront Two. Like, it's not like this has never happened before. I feel like, like it's common like sense that it would happen. Like people have, like studios have been caught red-handed doing this. They've been caught straight up lying to us. Yeah, straight and up lying to us and, and Bungie, nerfing XP even and a whole bunch of other shit. Like straight up lying to our faces, making the game actively worse on purpose, having to get called out by the consumers, then apologize in reverse. It, right. Here's the here's the perfect thing. In my video today, I talked about how in my in my little short and my longer video, I talk about how the season pass is a problem because you're asking me to pay for it up front, right? For one hundred ten dollars yep, up front that you know nothing yeah, about. know nothing about. No. Don't know when it's coming out. Don't know nothing, right? So much so, it's almost a year. Redfall's been out almost a year. Where's that content that people paid one hundred twenty five dollars for? Are they still not released anything? They haven't released it. Oh my god. <laughs> Where's that content? Well, I'm glad they knew it was going to take a couple years before they got Outstanding anything for the entire right? price content. Now, people that defend that shit because they're like, well, I'm having fun. No, you're the problem. Have fun, but be smart about it, man. Like, you Go paid $125 and you still haven't received it yet. They need to go sit down in that corner and have fun. Kneel on some rice. They need some punishment.
I'm gonna go take a leak real quick. Yep. Y'all yep. spin those hard-earned credits. Look at us, look at us bloody just, uh, messes that we are. Is that oil? That's that's not blood. That's oil. That's that's my blood. Must be my blood. Ah, uh, it's red on my screen. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's. it's that, that must be Which is everyone weird, else's blood. We're fighting robots. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it must, must be, be from us. Yeah, it must be the oil. It's the it's the, it's the dirty oil in them. Yeah, maybe they got the red eyes. It's it's that uh, red <laughs> fluid in them. I guess. My guy is bloody as hell. I remember bleeding that much. Only 36 kills. What? I could have swore I killed way more than that. Hex over here taking all the kills. <laughs> I hit the wrong button so I couldn't even see it. And that was all out of gun. I didn't use a single stratagem that time. Uh, get what says this is the eradicate up. Automa forces 15 minutes reduce the numbers. So this is just a defend area mission. Okay. I can finally get the shield now. Is the shield still meta? No. No, the shield is not meta. Damn. Wasted the grind, man. I don't even know what's good at level You should have paid extra money to get the shield quicker. I was reading True. that the ballistic shield backpack is actually much better against bots. Because it'll put ballistic up everything except backpack. missiles. But you can only use a one-handed weapon with it, so... Pull out the uh, revolver. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah, B, Sarge is correct. Don't you don't buy games day one. Like the only reason you would have to buy games day one, if you if you don't know anything about a game, you don't want to get screwed over on your money or, or time. You watch a streamer. You watch somebody that's that's doing it anyway, because that's their that's their job. But like, if you're not sure, don't buy a hundred and ten dollar game. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. I'm way past pre-ordering or buying day one. I wait. Yeah, the I, you know what it bothers me is as a content creator, sometimes I, I have to get the games early just to because that's what I do. You but gotta it, cover it, it when it's it, irrelevant. It, but it kills me because I'm like, it's like hypocritical because I'm like, <laughs> I'm like don't pre-order, and then I I'm like I got a day one guys. <laughs> well, a lot of people are gonna get it day one anyway. Well, that's true though, Lurker. At least you're doing it for your job. Yeah, yeah, but it's true. Like Lurker says, I'm I'm paying thirty, so he get he gets day one. But I, I look at it that way. If like, wouldn't you rather spend, you know, a dollar, give to me? Like if if sixty people gave me a dollar, right? You're only spending a dollar, and then I get to get the actual game and show you if it's good or bad or or, or, or whatnot. You know. Yeah, at least you get to see up front if it's worth even buying right away or not. Right. Let's see. see if I can buy that. Uh, I don't. I, I don't. I don't understand the people that pre-order digital games. Like I, I just it, don't. I, I tell you what it is. It's that FOMO on the items that they put in there. That it's you'll never use. Like, that you'll and then never they use. sell them to you anyway in the shop, like either right away or like a month later. Yeah, but they they'll literally sell like the pre-order bundle or the deluxe edition bundle separately anyway in most games. I always find it funny though that people are like, yeah, so like Destiny did this, right? Everyone bought it early and then has the cosmetics, and everyone wears the cosmetics, but then nobody wants to wear the cosmetics because everyone's wearing the same cosmetic. Do you, do you That's know what I mean? exactly <laughs> the problem. And they're like, I don't want to wear the same thing as the other person. You're like, I'm wearing this because other people don't have it. Yeah, oh, which one is of the my favorites with the Eververse for me now. Or like bright dust stuff. All all the ornaments I earned in game back in the day, that they made it so you couldn't get them anymore, even in the store. Now they're bringing every single one of them back. Doesn't matter how you earned it, all of them are coming back. I'm like, well, great. Everyone has all the stuff that I have. I've literally nothing to show off for all the stuff I play. One of my favorite pre-order stories is Battlefield 2042. They had the pre-orders, the skin that you got if you pre-ordered it. And the game launched broke and buggy, yep. and as yep. we all know. Yep. And so the people that were playing the game, there were several, several stories online. And it became a meme. Like, if you see somebody wearing that skin, to bully the crap out of them. <laughs> send them me send them messages, all kinds. Like, people were getting harassed online. Because it's like, yeah, was that worth it? <laughs> it's so It's so ridiculous. It's just like Fortnite. When you have an old skin in Fortnite, everyone runs up to you and, and, and starts hitting you with that, you know, pickaxe or whatever to show you, be like, hey, noob, 
You get that old skin. This is the new meta over here. And it's like, oh, for God's sakes. Yep. That's exactly how it still is, actually. Did you hear that Battlefield 2042? They're done supporting it? Season 7 that just came out is the last yep. season? Last season. They're still going to do, like, little events here and there, which are probably already pre-programmed and ready to just hit a button to launch in the game. I don't know what the hell. I'm shocked it's gone this long, to be honest. Uh, that, that's exactly right. I thought... I think, uh, who, who did I watch? Someone said, I thought the last season was every season that came out. Like, every time they came out with a season, he thought that was going to be the last season. Yeah, I'm surprised it lasted this long, too. Well, the My word on the street is that the game is not bad now. I mean, it's nope, too little not, too I late for me, but apparently played, it's not I played, bad. I played it last week. It's fine. It's, it's fun, but it still doesn't feel like Battlefield. Yeah. It doesn't. Bring me a Bad Company 3, then we'll talk. Mm. I don't the want them to ruin it. just doesn't feel that to, to me in 2042. I don't want them to soil the good name of Bad Company. Yeah. Oh, I have no doubt they would, but still. Oh. The one thing that would make me do a double take in a new Battlefield game is if it had Bad Company in the name. Now, I'm, I, I feel like I'm intuitive enough past that point to see if it's going to be dog water or not, but to even look like at it. I feel definitely going to disappoint you. <laughs> oh, yeah, no doubt. They do want I thought this cannon would drop these ships in one shot. I guess it doesn't. So this big heavy um, heavy gun doesn't have any reticle, right? You're just wildly just shooting. Correct. Uh, the heavy machine gun? Yep. Yeah. It has a name down, so. Oh, not mine doesn't. Mm. Okay, so Are how do we sure? take down these drop I, ships? I I've seen multiple people shoot down drop ships. What are they using? The Quasar cannon. Well, that's what I'm using right now. Is there something in should, particular should you got to hit? The oh, engine look pods, at all those one of the engine pods. The engines, okay, okay. Yeah, Mike, I'm pretty sure when I used it, I you gotta hit a button to go first person, and that's where it has the, uh, oh, kind of like a red is? dot sight. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. There we go, got it. Thank you, that worked. I forgot you can go first person in this. Oh, the gun shoots so much better in first person. So much less recoil. Probably not a good time to reload, but hey. Don't worry, I'm coming. I'm just, just reloading. And that's what your zoom when you hold whatever square equivalent is for you guys. Uh, that's what it affects usually is the aimed out sight zoom. A dropship coming in. Ah, I missed. Ah, this thing's got a I heck missed. of a, yeah. This thing's got a heck of a cooldown. I mean, for good reason. <laughs> Going down a sentry. Oh my Ooh, God! Jesus! Oh, you like that? I get hit with a rocket right after. <laughs> you like that? Oh <laughs> Plane hit me in the head. Just got a little love tap from an entire. Alien drop shit. <laughs> My guy this definitely guy has a concussion. On your guy? I mean, he was just like moving forward without moving his leg. He definitely yeah. has a concussion. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Do you think that even the third that race they had is going to be anywhere near as bad as the automaton? Well, Do you think I, we'll get a hybrid of uh, bug? I think we'll get a hybrid. On? I think it'll be a hybrid. The mobility of the bugs, but the uh, relentlessness of the robot. <laughs> I think so. I mean, it's it's uh, it's pretty. Maybe. It's basically confirmed. It's going to be the what are they called? Something. Uh, they're in the. First game. Yeah, they're in the first game. They yeah, they're a hybrid of some sort. Illuminate. Yeah, illuminate. That's it. Yes. Which, if you look at their enemy type, the enemy types are the, more or less the same between the bugs in this game and the first one. If you look at some of the Illuminate enemy types, like you got straight up tripods from the 2005 War of the Worlds. And I am looking forward to that, if that's actually what it ends up being like. Really? 
remaster bad company, huh, Robert? Well, they, they can. They it, did it's called good, Portal. Be it's, it's called the Portal. They have it in the game. That is true. That's the best part about 2042, in my opinion. That's, I, I've spent more time actually playing the Portal than anything else. That's yeah, that's all they had to make that game. All they had to do was make Battlefield 2042 into Portal. They could have just came out with Battlefield Portal and it would have been more successful. I mean, look at Halo when they give you... Yeah, it's Master good, Chief um, Collection, basically. Yep. Yeah, when they give you a good... Uh, damn, I forget what it's called. Creation mode, basically. Forge. They give you a good one of those. The players will make a better game than the devs. Yep. Oh, Halo, Halo Infinite, their entire content cycle for the last probably eight months or, lo or longer has all been community content. Yeah, custom game. Yep. When I played Halo Reach back in the way, which is my uh, favorite Halo, man, it was just running off of nothing but player-made stuff. They were putting it yep. in the actual matchmaking playlists. Oh, they're they doing that now with Infinite. The, the devs can't be, well, not the devs, but 343 can't be bothered to make I mean, new content, so they're just having players do it. Not too many companies it, are going to say no to free labor, that's for sure. Exactly, yeah. that's what opens up the can of worms. It's like, those people that make those maps don't get paid a dime. And the thing is, if especially if it's free labor that the players like. Hey, we did it! It, it was us. Hey, we did it, it was us. Yeah. We, <laughs> that's we right, we did it. We planet. were the last group. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without us. <laughs> Everyone owes us their safety. It's you us. guys get 30 second there's, break. 30 seconds. There's one Halo YouTuber, Mint Blitz, which if I'm not mistaken, he did a couple sponsorships in some of his videos uh, specifically for money to give to some of those Forge map makers. Which, because, I mean, Microsoft and 343 won't do it. Right. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to bounce out. All right, Hex. Y'all yeah. have a good one. I'll Th be looking thanks for, uh, Thanks for killing all the things. Peace. Of course, anytime. Thanks for killing this all the things, yeah. <laughs> democracy continues. Let us rally to our defense. Right, well, look at that. It, now, why is that? Uh, this is the thing that we liberated, but yet it's so far behind. It's not liberated. That, that was the planet that we were on. Has it, has no it not, idea. Has it not caught up yet? Weird. Joel did it. We're like far off from it on this, on this thing. Um, uh, what is I that? Is that flame tornadoes? I don't know. You guys said flame tornadoes are bad, right? Uh, I mean, they, they are, but they're kind of experiencing them for content sake. Yeah, they might be unavoidable. <laughs> All right, let's go in there. Uh, stay with three or go to four. You can open it up if uh, no one in chat wants to jump in. Every I'm I'm good with uh, upping it a little bit. Okay. Uh, let me go to options, public. Yeah, we can go at least a four if it's automatons. Maybe like six if it's book. All our ships are getting shot down here. Yeah, this is. This means we're losing this planet. What planet are we on? What's the name of it? No, right now we're we're not losing. Right now we're on. Uh, we're winning. Uh, this because usually when you look out the window and you see our ships getting shot down, that's... that only happens when we're losing a planet. No, 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 that that's when people fail. The group is failing. They failed the mission. I have they confirmed that. That's what they say. They say if the people failed, that that group, that ship of group, just blows up. I was under the assumption that these aren't actually players. It's just there for window dressing, but it's like the illusion that you're looking at other players' ships. Mission coordinates locked. Well, to say that we're losing, I look at this planet. We're not. We're not losing. We're losing this one. We're losing this one. So, 100% should. Uh, oh, did is I? Is a bug planet or an automaton planet? This is automaton. Okay. Yeah, this one. Gosh. Yeah, I just saw one of the ships blow up. Yep. You think that's just window dressing? You don't think that's actually the people on the server? I would be genuinely shocked to hear, and that would be technically technically impressive if we were actually looking at other player ships right now. Well, if you think about it, it, it would just be like being in the tower at like in Destiny. You're not looking at the, the people, right? You're just looking at the representation of their how many people are on here. Then and mainly just be a skybox with... Yeah. These very basic ships placed in it in the background. 
that's what I'm thinking. I mean, it would be a lot easier to just be like, okay, when there's a lot of players at a planet, it activates this, uh, but Elba. it's not it's not the specifically those players. Next mission. Could be. It'd be impressive right. if it is specifically those people that. Yeah, I I would be. I feel like they would make a bigger deal about it if we were actually looking at other players' ships right the now. The only reason I Not think that it is real people, because I've been on the server sometimes where there's not a lot of ships around you. And other times, if you if you go look at the population, like if you go hover over a plant, there's a lot of people there, like you'll see a lot of ships out around you. But if you go to a, an area that's not as busy, there's not. Especially if you go on well, the That's what levels. I'm saying is I, I, I think that's the window dressing. I think there's just a certain threshold of players at a planet once it hits that, then it shows more uh, ships orbiting it. It's like there's probably there's probably two or three different instances that you would see. One with barely any ships, one with medium, and then one with a ton of them. And then another one where they're getting shot down. I mean, that's solely based on, like, just technically speaking. I think that would be extremely impressive if we were looking at... Other Reese, players, Reese but... says it's real players. Do you know that, Reese, or are you just you just saying because you agree? If it was real people, then there would be a larger than four four player missions already. No, not 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 true, lurker. Because that look at Destiny, right? You can have like sixteen to thirty people in a tower, but there's not thirty two players that can be on a mission. Think about it like this: when you're looking out the window, you can see different uh, stratagems going down. There's absolutely no way. I will say there is no way that you're looking at real time other people using I don't think, their stratagems. Yeah, no, I don't think you're looking at real time stratagems, but I think you're looking at real time people on that in that server for sure. Because I'm I'm not, I'm not looking at it as like so if they're on that ship, I don't think they're on that ship like they're walking around that ship live. I think it's just representing that. So it's like it is window dressing, but at the same time, it's showing you the amount of people on that server. Because if you just look how they're clustered together and stuff. Yeah, your stream gets extremely laggy. Super when laggy. Dropping. Yeah, I see that. Super laggy when we it's, drop, and then it's it's fine afterwards. Which doesn't make sense, unless it's just be all those ships are real PC people. Working on it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh oh. Got a Terminator right behind you. Trying out this explosive plasma shotgun. On the second page of the new Warbone. Every time I hear my guy's voice, it reminds me that I still want to try Spider Man 2. Despite. Platinum that game. Spider Man 2, the newest one? Yeah, yeah. I just I I've so rarely seen a positive thing said about it. I don't know if it's because of the politics or what, but it I definitely just, could been, be part of that. <laughs> I've been shocked at how much hate that game has gotten. It's be mostly because of the politics. Oh I mean, I don't think it does anything God. too crazy beyond the other ones. Hell, you guys are. I think it's oh, better, but it ain't. We're dead. That's where. <laughs> well, me and you are. Some devastating game gun. I mean, I had fun with it, but I literally binged Spider-Man 1 and Miles Morales right before the game came out mm -hmm. so that I would be able to play the game. Yeah, I've played, one, I've played 1 and Miles Morales, and Miles Morales was... Uh, I'm, I, it's a good thing it was discounted, I'll say that much, but, like, the the first one, I mean, one of my, one of my like, favorite just nerd experiences ever. I, I really like this for Spider-Man and Miles. I not Miles not as much, but I did like it. it. I enjoyed it. It was Miles was fine. It's just a a quick beat is is more so. It, it's kind of like they didn't really add too terribly much to it to make it unique, other than like your character animations. But other other than that, oh wow, that uh, flamethrower hurts a lot. Oh Jesus. Yes, that flamethrower. Oh, you were right. That uh, aim down sights is great on the heavy machine gun. 
It's good on a lot of the games. Dude, this guy is... Oh, make recoil no, with no, him. No, 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 no. <laughs> but yeah, Spider-Man 2 is the only game I have platinum in a place. Oh, God. Thank you. That flamethrower hits you once and you're basically dead. Oh, yeah, they, they upped flame damage, like, recently. Like, within the last week or two. And the modifier we have right now is intense heat and flame tornadoes. So let's pick up those, those, more heat build those, up. Uh, whatever. Resources. You, what, your samples? Yeah, the samples. I, I have not, them. but I will. They're over here somewhere. Here they are. Got it. Yeah, I, I just, I, 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 this, the gameplay I see of Spider-Man 2 looks cool. The trailer looks cool. You know, it looks, I mean, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, so it looks right up my alley. But then it's just like, everything is so negative about it. Uh, yeah, I Robert, mean, I, I don't, I don't know if there's fully destructible environment. Fine. Sorry, Argus. No, you're fine. Good. I, I don't know if there's full, fully destructible environment in the, uh, in Bad Company. I think there is, but I'm not sure. Bad company like one and two? Absolutely. No, no, no. In portal, in portal. Uh, oh, in the portal version. Mm -hmm. uh, no I was idea. able. I, really I was play. able to. I thought. I remember I, the original game busting down buildings. Because I, I mean, I pretty distinctly remember. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it works the same. I think. Now I'm second guessing it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't played it in a while, so. Well, I, I played 2042, didn't care for it much, didn't care for the maps, didn't feel like Battlefield, and then I I discovered the portal, and I was like, I don't remember them advertising this at all, but this is great. So I started playing that instead, I was just playing a bunch of Bad Company 2 stuff on there. All how right, do you, well, not, I don't really play a lot of automatons, like, how do you stop them from coming in, like the bugs? You go to their base and blow those things up, Yes. Is that what you do? Yes, the there's gonna be a red you vent. Throw the nades into. Yeah, it's a red vent, or when the door opens and a and a bot walks out, throw a grenade in that. That'll work too. Okay. Yeah, you just gotta find their little bases all over the place. And one grenade will do it as long as you uh, um, hit this, your mark. Oh, they have a radar tower up. It jams. I can't call a stratagem. Stratagem jammer over there. Yeah. Ah, crap. Yep. Can I get this nade in there? Let's see. And there's flame tornadoes over there. I missed. Come on. Get in there. Missed again. Got it. Almost died. What oh, the, what the hell was that? What was that? <laughs> it was a contact mine. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, I can't even reinforce you because of the damn jammer. Nice. Oh, we got to that jammer. Oh, have fun with that, boys. You're going to have to use a hell bomb on that thing. Unless you got a 500 kilo. I'm not sure if that'll even do it. And then we can't do that because of the stratagem. Yeah, the stratagem. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I think it's a terminal. You have to like go up to the top and press some arrows. There's gonna be a butt ton of bots in there too. Okay. But to be honest, whether the those ships that we're seeing in orbit are window dressing or not, I don't think it matters. I think it's a it's still an extremely cool like immersion effect either way. Make you feel like, you know, you're part of, part of the movement, part of the war effort. Right. This guy's going for me here. Watching around. There we go. Watch out behind you. They're dropping more on us. Oh, dive. Oh, Jesus. I'm like an action star right now. <laughs> I only have one reload, one reload, health reload. left. Or one, uh... Stim. One stem. Oh, my God. They're all over us over here. All right, we got to hold them off. Well, let's go. I already got it started, though. 
The lighting effects in this game are great, too. Call that in. Oh! Jesus, what is hitting me? Is there, is there any, uh... No, there's nothing up here. They're just they're just all chilling out over there. All right, well, here you go. All right, uh... There's a grenade for you. There you go. That worked. Thank you. Which one of you shall I hit? All right, I'm gonna call down a hell bomb. I like the little objectives that you have to do for each of the things. Very cool. I'm about to die again. God, what is that heavy devastator? It's to do with the Those shield. It's got a machine limited. gun. Uh, you're gonna want to back up out of here, Mike. <laughs> um, I yeah, just, run. I just, I just dropped him in. Don't. Oh, I'm out of here. Don't worry about me. Don't worry, Mike. You're the only one in there. Bomb should be coming. <laughs> <laughs> I just did an action jump right through. The... Oh, tornadoes are down. Yep, tornadoes are all around us. My goodness, where am I supposed to go right now? Did that hell bomb go off? Yeah. Not. Yeah, it did. Oh, yeah, it did. I jumped off at the at the right as it blew up. Team Tornadoes. This is awesome. I've never seen this. Doesn't appear to be affecting these guys at all. Uh, nope. But, uh, you step in kill us. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. That stuff is rough. Right, oh, wait. The, fight, the flames don't affect them? Come on, now. Not that I could see. I just watched those two walkers go straight through it. Oh, my goodness. I gotta reload. Oh, there's so many over there. I got a, I got a gun coming down. That's the thing about the automatons. They can be oppressive at a range. You ain't out running that. They will shoot you uh -huh. everywhere. They already killed my gun. Oh, okay, my heavy machine gun. This, uh, this explosive plasma shotgun. Oh, the the automaton. ex. If you bring an exosuit into automatons, you might as well just not. They're glass cannons. Reloading. This uh, plasma shotgun is plasma explosive shotgun is doing pretty good against them. All right, moving over to T2. Yeah, I, spec I spectated you for a minute. It looks like a grenade launcher or something. Yeah, it's almost like a EMP grenade. Yeah, it doesn't shoot like a shotgun at all. It's uh, on the second page of the newest war bomb. Mm. I read an article bomb. a while back trying to find the article. Oh, what, for the things being real? Yeah, he meant for the ships. Well, that'll be interesting. Yeah, in the grand scheme of it, it doesn't matter. I just, I, I don't think they were able to pull that off. It'd be pretty crazy if they did. It would be. I'm trying to think of another game that has an example of what I'm talking about, where like there's a, an effect that you see based on certain causes, but it's not necessarily indicative of individual players or NPCs or something. Well, that didn't look good. That happened. Someone just caught on fire. Is that you? This. Yeah, it was me. Oh, <laughs> I got the package. Where do I take Went this? Went to open DoorDash real quick. Uh, we gotta take... Uh, we snuck up we on gotta, me. We gotta take that. Where do we have to take that? I'm looking. We take that here. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Ah. Oh. You're liking it, huh, Paul? But there are some red spots around us we can wipe as well. I'm going to probably watch episode one tonight before I go to bed. That fire oh, Fallout, you fast Fallout TV you show is out now? Yeah, all eight episodes came out. Watch out, uh, watch your left, watch your left. Did I, drop, what, what is it on? did I drop the thing? Wait a minute. Yeah, I got it. Oh, you got, got it? it? Okay. Oh god, I can't see the tornadoes as I'm coming down. Can't use strategy at the same time, though. Uh, we got a robot's ship just dropped behind me. Damn, I need Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> but the funny part was, I was just... Oh, my God. 
I was just using a Here's the an thing Uzi, over here. and then all of a sudden I shot a guy and a big explosion happened. I was like, what the hell? Ooh. Go away. Yeah, you better fall down. Oh, Jesus. There's so many of them. Take the Zuzi. What is that explosion? That was me. That was my bad. <laughs> I was, I dang it. it. I was I'm like, win. I'm trying to pull my gun out, and I kept throwing grenades by accident. All right, next. Let's go. Hey, gun, you want to shoot at these things over here? Yeah, that Fallout show does not look bad. No, it actually, I mean, it actually looks pretty good. Product, yeah, production, production quality looks solid. It yep. looks like Fallout. There's a lot of imagery there. I would not be surprised to hear that it's pretty solid. Hey, uh, Maybe they do we have a I, I gotta get a resupply. I'm throwing one down. Okay. Okay. Like, I mean, it'd be really refreshing to get another, you know, like Last of Us type thing where an adaptation's actually respectful to the source material and also good. Well, I thought Mario Brothers was good too. Yeah, Animated I thought Mario movie. was good. Yeah, I thought I Mario was good. I still have to watch that. I'm waiting to watch it with my girlfriend. I was I was pleasantly surprised by that movie. I thought they were gonna go way too like way too kitty, you know, like I ignoring Mario and everything about it for the sake of being trying to be the next Despicable Me, like every other animated movie. Jesus. But um, I think it was it was Illumination. Like I think it's the same same oh, studio that made Despicable Me. Not for long. I missed. <laughs> but it was really good. Like I went and saw it in theaters with a friend who nice. I, I got a friend who really loves Mario, like, way more than I do, and he loved it, and I thought it was good, so... I'd say probably probably mission accomplished. Have you seen the old one back in the day with the, like, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I movie... feel like everyone should have to watch that movie. Yeah, I mean, that movie pretty frequently makes the top spot in people's, like, worst video game movie lists. Which one? <laughs> Uh, the old Super Mario, Mario Brothers. Oh, oh yeah, man. yeah, yeah. And that and Street Fighter. Hit me with that reinforced, would you? Oh, yeah. oh it's it's that it. tower. Y'all gotta keep y'all gotta keep moving. It'll one shot you. Which oh, tower's gonna one shot? I, I, I see it. I see it. Oh, that that thing. That one right there. Yeah, that thing skated right next to me. The the only way to take it out is either with a powerful stratagem or to shoot the vents on the back of it. It's but to hit the vent to it. hit the vents on the back, someone else has to be distracting it. I'm leaving the missionary woods. Okay, gotta go directly in front of it, I guess. <laughs> Yo, they are hitting me from all the way over there. That is crazy. Got an orbital coming at it. Oh, it's taking aim. Oh, that's not gonna do it. Let me see if this one will do it. Please don't shoot me right now. Nope. Need something a little beefier see than that. See if a 500 kilo does it. Do with this, I'm on that same page, this, Robert. This big guy right here, the shield. You get behind him. Uh, yeah. You either gotta get pinpoint accuracy on his head with something powerful, or get behind him. Still got a minute on my shield generator. Look at all those little bastards standing on the horizon over here. Oh my God. Yeah, I see that. That's a lot of them. Get all of them. Coming at me right now. Man, this uh, explosive plasma shotgun oh, takes out them. Oh, I'm dead. Yep, he, yeah, he's pretty good. Oh, no, no. Stim, stim, stim. It wasn't trying Don't to let do me. It. Where is he? Where is he? Yo, you were still following me? Why am I trying to out melee the melee unit? What are these? We got everything, got everything down here. Now we can move back north. All 
Aaron, I got the. What is I, this? I, I got the. I got this big guy. There we go. Thank you. Okay, where do we gotta go with this damn thing? Uh, pretty far north. Still a little while, huh? Yeah. More yeah. northwest. We, we gotta go what to the uh, the radar tower over there. That thing. Uh, that is not the objective, but that is a side thing we can hit on the way. It's really dumb when you pick up this thing. Uh, what lights up orange is what you're holding or where you got it from, but where you're headed is still do. darked out gray, and mm -hmm. you have to go see it like with with your cursor and that's where it will say like upload or something so, so it's 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 northwest is where our objective actually is this is this one stratagem jammer northwest. minor place nah. uh, upload data i put a purple marker on it Got a sample out of that. <clears throat> yeah, this All thing's right, just a better on. stalwart, basically. Well, the stalwart's got a huge magazine, though. Yeah, I do like that gun. I gotta have something that penetrates that armor, though. Yeah, I like I like how this thing has armor penetration, but the stalwarts are still very useful. For like that when you're back in a corner thing. and there's 50 of them closing on you, you're glad you got that fully reloaded stalwart. Uh, we've been here. We, we, we have been here. We went full circle. This is, yeah, this is right about where we landed. In fact, there's my dead body right over there to our left. <laughs> my still warm corpse. Now it's just Helldiver 0013587. That's right. My aiming reticle's gone. What the heck? Oh my god, he did it. <laughs> he just landed his pod on top of it and blew it up. <laughs> uh oh. Bot dropped detected around me. Mm. Alright, well, we can get out of here then. Head over to that broadcast tower. There's a guy behind this rock over here. Got him. All right. That had a shield on. He hit me point blank with a rocket. Man, those rockets can can be crazy damage. Trying to make a mad dash. Reloading. No, I didn't want to reload. Lots of Got it. explosions around me. Yeah, blew up the tower. Right, let's head to the, purple marker the now. I have it on low settings right now, and it still looks amazing with all the the dust and the explosions and the. Love it. It's always a good thing. Like to see something good. Yeah, this game really injected some optimism back into into gaming. My own, yeah. Well, gaming for sure. My and per, per, personally, for like my own, uh, my own outlook on gaming. Like this game, I haven't, I still haven't touched Power World. Like I've heard lots of good things about it. It's good, but this was this was the one that for me was like, oh, gaming isn't totally dead. <laughs> right, <the laughs> like glimmers, it can still just be of hope. They, they yeah, can, yeah. Like they, like they can still just prioritize fun. I feel like the online feeling of gaming is more in the negative these days, yeah. <clears throat> Pretty much. I saw somebody's video, I don't remember whose, uh, maybe it's like Rain, Rain, I don't remember, he has a weird name, I can't remember, it's like Rain Vic or something. Uh, he showed a interview where one of the devs, I guess, um, that worked on Far Cry 6, said that that game was originally designed to be a live service game. And during development, they said, hey, wait, never mind, because live service is getting a bad rap. Let's just do another single player traditional Far Cry. And that's why it's got a lot of elements in it that are kind of indicative of live service stuff, like social, like a like a hub and repetitive mission types and stuff like that. I feel like that is the climate these days. People are kind of like, 
damn, another freaking live service game, man. <laughs> Give us the good single players back. Yeah. Did, did you see oh that, my god, did you see that, that killed you too? Did you see that recent report about how no matter what game comes out, there's the five games that are always on top with Fortnite, COD, uh, Minecraft, Roadblocks, and something else? Like The same BS game. The same game that have been around for seven years plus are the ones that are that are still keeping the top top spots of people playing. Well, that's and how that's these studios the see no it. They new live service games, though. Well, people that's how they see it. They, they go, well, as long as we, we just got to make one, one game. Yeah. One, one addicting game. live service game, and it will last us the next 15 years. Everyone's so still that's looking what they at do. Fortnite like, hey, they didn't know <laughs> yeah. they were going to do this, and look what happened with them. Dude, GTA Online, uh, they weren't anticipating it going longer than, like, I think two, three years. So when that, when that game. when that game can that game. Yeah, when that first did. when it first came out, they expected it to be about to perform about as well as GTA 4 online did. Yeah. I didn't That's even know was... there was a GTA 4 online. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. It basically it it devolved into the same thing every match. Just go to the airport and slaughter each other. Yes, that's exactly it. <laughs> that's all anybody ever did. But like GTA online when it launched, it was extremely bare bones. Like there was hardly anything to do at all. And that's the only time I played it is at the beginning. Like, that was before heists, that was before uh, even just, like, even being able to get uh, an office. Was, I mean, there's <laughs> almost nothing to do. It was definitely a make-your-own-fun kind of game, that's for sure. Make your own fun so we don't have to. Guys, I have I have a bunch of walkers on me that I need a, need a little help with over here. I am... I am stuck by this dude with the shield i'm pinned okay i got two of them once i get oh wait i got an orbital rail strike let me try this we got a random in oh somebody oh, killed it it wasn't me God. i killed him oh what'd you do how'd you just, kill him i just shot him from behind are you, are well. you, no are you by me yeah i get are you near me no, yeah no. you are okay Somewhat. Some, something killed him more than me. There was another one over here. Raising satellite. Uh, let me see. We got heavy gun. Is this heavy gun better than... No. Load. Yeah, I will say that Fallout trailer, they really made it look like something that even uh, even someone who doesn't really know about Fallout games or care might still be intrigued by it. I guess that's what that's what happens nope, when you just nope. have an in interesting who's on, who's on, premise on the for tower? a game. Uh, the, guy, the wrong guy's on the tower. He's, he's, he's going the wrong way. Here, I'll go get it. See if I can get him off of it. There's one way you can get him off. <laughs> oh, yeah, I smacked him. <laughs> All right, tell me. Go down, keep turning, keep turning. Go, go, go. And... Good. What? What do you mean, error? Is that it? Oh, it's already... What the fuck? It's on green. You got it. Oh. I, I am. It wouldn't let... Chat, you, you guys saw that, right? I was hitting I the see, button. I see it. I see it. Right, I was hitting the button. It wasn't working. Telling the truth. <laughs> I saw that, too. I was hitting, Don't know hitting, what to hitting, make it, of that. And it, it wasn't working. Oh God! Your PC I... is just protesting its existence right now. It's uh, it's EA. They they've hacked me, or Ubisoft. They've hacked me. <laughs> yeah, they heard you the talking. Screen. Watch out for the fire tornadoes. Yeah, once it starts burning you, if you fire don't stim immediately, tornado. you're probably done. Yeah, it leaves napalm behind, so you gotta watch out for the trail. To, if you get next to these fans yep. over here, next to the air conditioning unit, you should be good. True. See, that sounds like a wives' tale. <laughs> Come on, climb it. That sounds like something an, an automaton would be putting in the chat. <laughs> oh, I'm up. I'm up. I got up here. No way. Yep. I was like, nah, it's not going to let me. I've been surprised before, though. Nah, Use terminal to wipe sensitive data. I can't because the terminal's on fire. And now I'm on fire. Jesus. Yep. 
Jeez. That's how fast it is every time. That is, I was I'm not full health too. Or close enough. Yeah, don't even bother. Wait till it goes away. It went away as soon as you died. Yeah. The way it works. Yeah, this is a long one. Oh my god. Double pressed on the last one. Yeah, my, my mortar's still firing, huh? Yeah, they're popping off against something. Oh, they got some range on them. They're shooting stuff far away. Yeah, oh, it's because it's out there too. It's because there's a uh, there's a bunker over whatever there. Whatever it's called over there, yeah, that's spawning them. Yeah, they'll help take down their ships uh, when they drop things off too. It's pretty nice. That's why that's mainly the sentry iron, because you could put it to where it doesn't need line of sight, so you can protect it and then just let it just pop off. Uh oh. Get back. What the hell is. Get back. Ooh. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. You'd love to see it. Fireworks show over here. Don't, don't get in front of my gun. <laughs> Those taxpayer dollars at work, baby. One, one Only more a guy. few hundred million per bomb. <laughs> oh, that was cool. That guy was about to shoot a rocket at you, and I hit him right at the last second, and it shot up in the air. Cool detail. I should have saved that missile for this place. This horrible looking place. There's still robots like moving on the ground over here. Look at <laughs> the little details, man. That's awesome. They have a lot of cool little details in this. This is probably one of those hell bomb sites, huh? Probably. Ooh. Jeez, what's happening here? I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna throw one of these little surprise gifts over there. Yeah, please do. Oh my god. He's gonna kill me from over there. Yeah, he's got range. He does not play. I got uh, I got a mortar right. coming in. Yeah, he's got range. Jesus. Oh yeah, they'll shoot missiles and, and them, some of them missiles will damn near one shot. When they get close, they start popping off with a flamethrower. I'm letting my mortars do most of the work right now because there's, there's no wait, there's no hey, point wasting. They do. they do put in work. Wasting precious lives, I agree. Well, I was talking more about bullets, but. <laughs> oh, I know. Look at this. I can't he's come line. He's beelining it for that mortar. He is. Oh, he's coming for me, yeah, I think. He's coming for you. Yeah, let him chase you. Jesus, oh, we got them the coming rocks. from the right. He blew up the rocks that I was hiding behind. Didn't know that was possible. Reload. Oh, yeah, mortar's popping off. There's one more fabricator here. One more. Chip coming in. Oh, there's a big dude right in the middle. Got Ten seconds. Another shell coming bomb. in. Oh, the mortar's popping off. The, it just deleted all five of those ATSDs came in. Love it. Oh, we got a really chunky boy right there. Got the whole buster coming. What the hell? Oh, he's right there. Oh, right, right behind oh, us. He's right there. He's kind of like. Oh, no, he's doing more than Ooh. Oof. Come back in over. Pretty. I love the 500 kilo. <laughs> Very satisfying to shoot. Uh, got him. There he is. There's another one over there. Yeah, that chonker's on my. He's after me, Lucky Charms. I'm running. He's yes, after he my Lucky Charms. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, he ain't playing around. They never are. Those ones are deadly as hell. Got him. There we go. Nice. I'm gonna call in a resupply. I was gonna say, I need, I need some. Look at all these craters from the bombs we keep dropping. <laughs> the whole damn base is just craters. <laughs> and that's another, that's another great detail. This is why I like Bad Company with the craters and the different things that would happen. You know what I mean? Like, 
the explosions alone are awesome, but the fact that it does actually leave all the craters in the geometry is pretty nice. Ghost Fixer says the first episodes are fantastic. Well, that's good. I have to uh, that's give awesome to hear. What? I'm what glad. Yeah. That on? Amazon. Amazon. I think the first two episodes are not on Prime, Prime, though, so if you don't have Prime, I think you can still watch the first two episodes. That's I a got cruel Prime marketing no, marketing tactic. No ads upgrade. They make you pay for them. Honestly, that's a that's a marketing strategy I, I don't hate on when they give you the first couple episodes for free. It's like, I mean, that's a perfect way to tell, am I going to be into this or not? Let me watch Let me watch a couple hours worth of content, and if I'm still not into it, I'm still not into it. I think they did a good job with it, too, because with the show, they've they've updated the game Fallout 76, even though it takes place like a uh, 100 years after um, uh -huh. Fallout 76 does, or before. I forget which one. Oh, it's after. Um, good God, what is that? What was that? I think the it's the mortars. Barrage. Is it? No, it's the barrage. Jesus. Yeah, it's definitely someone's barrage. That thing's popping off. Yes, it is. But you can't ever tell where it's gonna pop up. Right, so I'm just sitting back. I'm there. just sitting back. Dude, impact grenades. I just killed three walkers with one impact grenade. They That's are. insane. I love impact grenades. That's insane. They're the best ones I've used so far. Well, I, I'm not a huge Fallout fan. I've played every. I've played every Fallout game since three. Like I've tried them all. Um, I'm not a huge fan, but I like the series. Yeah, I'm, and I'm like I, I'm into it enough where I could I could sit down and watch the TV show. If if people are saying it's good, then I'm like, shoot, yeah. I mean, it looks interesting to me. Which I mean, it's a, a crazy concept. I know. Just follow the source material that everyone likes, and you get right. yourself a winner. Right. Hard. hard no one wants to do that anymore. Yeah, hard what a wild, what a wild concept. Seems like it is for some companies. <laughs> well, it, honestly, what it is is you get a bunch of prideful arrogant writers and people that want to make their own thing but they want to use an existing ip as a springboard yeah 100 percent. like it's like oh i'll i'll make a show about uh halo and but it's really gonna be my show that i want to make but because i slapped the halo ip that that'll get me viewers on those first few episodes and then they'll see how good of a writer i am and they'll right. keep watching yeah. it after that it's like let's make a book of where's Waldo, but instead of Waldo, we're gonna make it where's uh, William. Where's Juan? Yeah, yeah where's yeah. where's William? Where's Juan? <laughs> and, and we're gonna make him where it's nothing about. It's like, but we're gonna we're still gonna call it we're still gonna call it the same thing. But it's like, uh, yeah, but there's there's nothing nothing the same. Like, eh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you're just a bigot. Say, you're I'm just like a bigot. We didn't use the game's <laughs> source material or anything. Yeah, you're just you're just a bigot yeah. because you don't like the it. Halo, play the game. There's a, a rumor on the street is that the Halo TV show has been canceled. They haven't announced that. Good. But they announced season two before season one was over. That's a that's a that's, that's a tactic they do to make it seem like season one is better than it is. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah no doubt. And season two is over and there has been no word about no talk. season three. Yeah no talk. Which I say good riddance. Did you know that no. the WB, or CW I should say, has never made a profit, ever. In the existence of the television what? channel, never profitable. Ow. Not even with Arrow? Nothing. That show was Nope, with Smallville, with Arrow, out. with Flash, never. Never, ever made money. I liked the Arrow show. I'm a big Flash fan, so I watched the Flash, but... I got um. three seasons in... Uh, thought the first three seasons of The Flash were pretty great. Yep. Season four lost Terrible. me. Terrible. It and, I, really bad. And, and I couldn't care less about season five. Didn't watch anything beyond that. Yeah, I, I, the first three seasons were awesome. I Who watched was, uh, all of Arrow against my better judgment, but I, st I stand that first three seasons are solid, and then the last, like, two seasons actually got pretty good again. Yeah. No, sorry, the, la the last season was the one that was like, oh yeah, this is us trying to sell this new show where the daughter's the lead. So I guess the, the two before the last season were pretty good. The thing, I, I watched somebody Fire cover tornado, it. right on our cookies. Oh. I watched someone cover it. They were saying there's a reason a lot of shows never make more than two seasons. Something to do with the, 
forget what it was. Well, there's a couple Money. reasons. Yeah, there's a couple reasons because if it's watch okay. out for the fire tornadoes. So, They're so if up a here. show is successful the first season. Uh, before they make the second season, before they sign the guys for second season. So the reason they make a second season right off the bat is because they can lock the actors in and everybody else in at a certain rate. Um, mm -hmm. Where if the season does really well and they don't sign the actors, right? So they do the first two seasons, but then they know that the bonus goes up or something goes up. So they have to oh. either cancel it or try to figure something out, kill a person off, think, bring someone else I in. Think that's what it was. It was yeah. uh, after the first two seasons, they got to pay the, those actors like yep. a fuck. Ton. Yep. Oh, and no. that's why they they just see it as bust out the first two seasons and then end it right there. Tell and you what, I bet, those act, I bet those actors on The Walking Dead were terrified to negotiate their contracts. Because <laughs> they had a pretty simple solution to if actors want too much money. That, that's that's why just uh, kill them, just kill them off. <laughs> yeah, that's why when you like watch old shows like Seinfeld and like Friends, they all work together to sign the deal. Yeah, to yeah. Put, I remember. Work. I think I, it was like Friends or something. They were they had a they had oh god not like the fire. It was like, it was like a million dollars a, an episode or some shit it like was that. Nice knowing you. You hear me screaming behind you? <laughs> yeah. Damn, I see the flames. That took me two stems to survive. That is crazy. Oh no, no, why? Right over Run. top of my stuff. Run. The samples and the Yeah, guy. whoever whoever was the agent for the guy that plays Master Chief, Pablo Schreiber, his agent must have been a stud because there is no actual answer anyone can really give, like good answer why anyone can really give as to why they keep showing the dude's face other than it's got to be in the guy's contract. For, for what? Got to be in his... For Halo. Oh yeah, yeah, for the guy Master, Master Chief. Chief. Yeah, it's so it's got to be in his contract that he keeps showing his face. Another role. So this is if another thing. This is why I love. I forget the actor's name right now, but the guy who played Judge Dredd, the one that plays in uh, the Boys. Earl Urban. Yeah, when he played Judge Dredd, I appreciated him so much because he never took off the fucking helmet, right? Mm -hmm. Where that brings so much more like to the to the lore of what it is. Where actors, they have to take off, the, like Pedro Pascal, what he did it with Mando, right? It, it, it makes no sense for him to take off the helmet, but they wrote it in because he has to take off his helmet because they have to make sure that you know it's him behind the actual mask. Otherwise, how, right. would, how would he get paid and how would he get, you know, credit of an actor? He'll be replaceable yes. if it's just his voice. Yes. And that's exactly what they did. They replaced his voice. He just did some extra linings. Hence... Why they, they could just use AI. That's why they shifted the the uh, off of Mando, and they put it towards more of a uh, Bo-Katan and what and whatnot. And she has why? Because he wanted to be in because more scenes. He wanted he wanted not wear the helmet anymore. Oh. I mean, I feel like they did a good job in the first season because he didn't show his face to any living creature. Right. And it felt earned when he took it off. The second one is like they're just looking for any excuse. <laughs> the second season, I mean, still a good, still a good show. Like I didn't dislike season two. Dude, what'd but... you guys kill? Come on, I, I had like two hundred thirty-eight. What were you guys shooting at? It's a good day. When you're <laughs> we gotta let uh, you look good for stream. <laughs> I was, I was popping off objectives. I don't know about y'all. I was, I was, I was giving out democracy. I was yeah. there for the ride. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. The Super Destroyer is yours. Thank you, thank you. Is thank there you. a is there a shower I can go into? My God, my guy is just. I have oh, no idea covered. why my guy is clean, <laughs> but I'll if someone you. comes back clean, you know they weren't. Do Look, wait a minute. I'm not clean. Don't wait look a minute, me. Argus. Wait, were you look, doing anything? Uh, were you doing anything? Your your thing is yeah, spotless. That yeah, flame what? tornado, I think, it just burned <laughs> off all the blood. I don't know. Explain yourself, what, did you, citizen. Did you, oh my God, dude. You, you didn't do anything. I kept a spare suit on the side. You guys just didn't see me change. <laughs> the Gotta breaker my spray pants. and pray another shotgun. Good lord, man! I want to say that is basically the incendiary breaker, just without the incendiary. What's the incendiary breaker? Where do you get that? Uh, I mean, I assume it's a, it's the, the second war bond. The second war bond. Okay, okay. I've seen Should people use on, that. I've never seen it myself. Should we start? Oh, I God. used it for a long time. On the I'm not. Day. I'm not even through the first war bond yet. 
I've been digging into all three of them. I haven't finished any of them. Okay, it's so the field veterans one. If we want 100% this, we need to land up here somewhere. If we don't, we just want to do objectives, we can land down here, hit yeah, this, hit this, this then go here. here. It'll make a nice, nice circle. Uh, let's see, the barrage. What, which one did you say? The uh, 120? No, I don't have the other one un, un, unlocked. What's the barrage that you were talking about? The 380? I don't have that one. Okay. That thing's insane. It has no accuracy. It just it just levels everything in a mile radius. I want a laser. Uh, auto cannon century. This shield generator right, pack is just too useful against these guys. No tanks on this, right? So Yeah, no tanks. That mortar was doing work. I'm really liking this slugger shotgun. It's got a heck of a range on it. Is the Gatling better than the machine gun sentry? The G16 better than the MG43? Yeah, the, Ga the Gatling is better, <laughs> yes. Which is weird because they, I think they cost the same. I don't remember, but the Gatling has a higher rate of fire and more firepower and to it. Threads. Yeah. I mean, there's there's pretty much never a reason to use the machine gun sentry over the Gatling sentry. Yeah, there's not. Oh, Travis is back. Oh my God, you you've got 21 people watching right now. I never look at the number. There, yeah, 20, 21 people, 21 people. See that? Look at that choppy frames. That's what you get. <laughs> yeah. Nothing but the best. It's just quality, cinematic quality content uh, around here. Choice. It's just for the cinematic experience. It's a a design choice. Uh, 21 is awesome, man. I mean, you're a... Uh, and the, the fact that I see so many people, like, come into the chat and, like, just talk, you know? <laughs> like, people are just sharing sharing their thoughts. So my morning like, streams... Like, that's so cool. Yeah, my morning streams, I've been hitting uh, peak, like, 50, 60. Um, oh, my God. And I, I find that really, like, amazing, considering I'll watch a guy who's got, like, 50,000 subscribers. And when he goes live, he's got, like, the same. If not, you know, maybe just a few more. And I'm amazed by that. I'm like, how how is that possible that someone... Oh, my God. Oh, my... Oh, God, my man. good Lord. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> my that, own explosive shotgun. Oh, my shotgun. God, what the... What is happening? Starting off strong, boys. <laughs> yeah, I'm amazed well, though I've, that that many people. I've heard time and time again that subscriber count really doesn't matter. It, it doesn't. As long as well, you look. have people who uh, people who care about, and like you're making stuff that they actually enjoy, like the the engagement will happen regardless of how many subscribers you have. Yeah, yeah. So, my I I, I said this from the very beginning. I would rather have a hundred people. Like, if oh, I had we're jammed. A hundred subscribers. If I had hundred subscribers, and every day those hundred people came and, and watched my, I would be I would be happy as shit. Are you kidding me? It only takes one grenade to drop one of those broadcast towers. I yeah. had no idea. Yeah. I have wasted so many stratagems on those things. <laughs> I think they. I, I don't think it was like that in the beginning. I think they they fixed that. Yeah. I wow. feel like you weren't able. Yeah, to you weren't. That. You weren't able to because. I I, st I stopped doing streams on my main channel. My first ever donation I ever got was somebody telling me, hey, please stop streaming. <laughs> yeah. I said, I'll give you money right now to stop streaming. Because it's just the, the audience I've accumulated on that channel. They're just not, they're not really into streaming for the most part. <laughs> so, That's funny. <laughs> literally, my first ever donation was like, hey, please stop. <laughs> I've, I've literally forced it. Like, my channel, I forced to be what it is. And this channel is only a year and a half old. Right, like this one. Oh, really? Yeah, because my original one, it was a Destiny channel. It was the pot. I moved everything over to this because it just I'm dropping a hell bomb right here. By the way, I was getting, I was getting, um, uh, I don't know, shadow banned. I guess you want to say from from YouTube because YouTube didn't know what I was trying to do. So I did exactly. Run away. I run. Did the exact same thing. Run, 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 run. run. Um, and for some reason, this this works out better. 
Did you start out with one type of content and then change to another type of content? Uh, no, I've always, I always did the exact same. So on my 30 and still gaming channel, which now I just kind of throw gameplay up there after the fact, like let's plays. Mm -hmm. Um, I just take like the raw footage of this and like I put it on that channel. Um, and I always did live streams. I did live streams and podcasts, the exact same thing I'm doing here. Um, but the problem was, I think it just didn't, it didn't know because it, it was Destiny first and then I stopped doing Destiny. So people that, mm. so the, 1300 people that watch me like destiny and then when i would post the video they wouldn't watch it because it wasn't destiny related yeah it really like if if people subscribe to you it, it kind of it kind of stinks because like if you have family friends whatever and they're like yeah i'll subscribe to your channel you like I, I told my you i don't. told my wife earlier today like i have i have a second and third channel and she was like oh i subscribe to your other channels i said are you actually gonna watch the content on there she said no i said unsubscribe please. right that's exactly right <laughs> That's exactly I right. Need, I need you to unsubscribe. because it does watching it, my stuff. If you're not going to watch it, don't subscribe. It does way more harm than it does good when you have a subscri a ghost <laughs> subscriber, meaning Dolphin a number. Said, a Thanks for the super chat. Thank Please stop streaming. Please stop streaming. <laughs> 4, 4 .99. Oh, my God. This I guy behind me. Oh, I got wrecked. Glad you got glad you got to experience the same thing I did. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop streaming. <laughs> That's funny. I always look at the uh, I always look at the trolls and I, I don't pay attention to them, right? I, I learned this very early on. Like people come in, they'll tell me like you're bald, you're ugly, stop streaming. They, they say all this shit, and I'm just like I laugh about it because I'm like, how? What kind of person are you to go onto someone's stream and just say one thing and then leave? You know what I mean? Got it. <laughs> I threw it there on purpose. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, I had I had somebody. Um, Oh, that's a mine. Whoops, watch out for mines. They're sitting all over the place. Um, I had somebody... I, so I started the second channel for streaming. It's not even monetized yet, but it's fine. Oh. I had somebody comment on there like, yeah, the, the title of the stream sounded oh, promising, my. but turned it off after a couple minutes because you don't seem very likable. <laughs> it's like, Man, what, what a, amazing oh. feedback. What do I even? What do you even say to that? Like, how do I? <laughs> yeah, like, and then you know? unless you insult them, I don't think there's much else you could say from there. Well, I, I'm the, I'm the type that's like, I don't really care. Like, so I responded to him. So first of all, his name Ooh. was like something something the wolf, and he had a cartoon wolf, like a one of those weird furry anime wolf yeah. pictures. Yeah. And I said, oh, th I said, oh, thank God. For a second, I was concerned that my personality jived with somebody who unironically has a picture of a cartoon wolf as their avatar. <laughs> and then it's just like, I mean, sure. Does it come off as like I was being childish? Sure, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't matter. The way I the way I see it is he opened the can of worms. Yeah, <laughs> it's fair game. Yeah. He, well, he he responded again. Was like, oh wow, like that was so expected. Whatever makes you feel better. And I was like, I didn't respond again. But I was like, dude, you came onto my channel. <laughs> you came onto my and channel and then insulted me. I just insulted your uh, your profile picture. <laughs> you know, you know, most people that they came on my channel originally, they they didn't like me. They came in as a as just to to be an asshole, and then they stayed around and they've been here for years. Very nice. And now they're still in the chat to this day. See, I was about to say yes. Oh, right. Ar Argus, Argus is playing with us. You see this? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've been watching you since. Uh, damn, I don't even remember how long. Back in the the Lono Q and A podcast and roundtable. Oh, roundtable. You're you're back from that. Yeah. Yeah, I've I've been watching for a long time. Now I I was a hardcore uh, Lono fan for a while there. Now I know you're still good friends with him. I basically watch only when you come on now. But um, I I yeah, love I people. I love people time. that think that me and him. Okay, so like there's a guy that makes YouTube channels. Uh, Dolphin showed it to me. Um, I, I'm not gonna say the, the channel's name, but he uh he makes content off of just Lono like he bashing on him just just 100 bashing on him oh and, yeah and i was on type. yeah and i was on his show like i am on fridays um and he thinks like i'm never coming back on that show like this guy he goes oh he's, he's owning lono he's it and i'm like you you have no idea what you're talking about we've literally been friends for eight years and this is how <laughs> this is how it is oh that's I've, I've i've actually seen that i know exactly what you're talking about which if that says anything it it, it made its way to my corner of the internet which is, which, which I, is interesting. I, I, 
yeah, I know what guy you're talking about too. And I've seen I've seen channels like that too, where their entire channel is just hating is on dependent on yeah, they just hate on like a specific other channel or multi or like a handful of them. And every time that channel makes content, they just do like a reaction or yeah. something, just which is talking so, trash about which them. Is so unsta uh, unsustainable. Um, it can't be. There's no way. Yeah. Like it's it's got to be like. People I don't know. Get bored of it, Amanda. I mean, it's like actually, like metaphorically, it. literally, whatever you want to call it. Like that's what a, a content leech is. But yeah, freedom been, ring, uh, baby. Been watching oh this my god! <laughs> I saw that. Oh, oh you got Look one on that. you. Run, oh, run. Oh god! Run, dirty run. Oh god! I can't oh. move. How did you survive? That? I have no idea. I couldn't move. I was like stuck on the wall. Was that your stratagem in your hand that just fell out? Me? No, I threw no. that in there. Oh, uh, there was an eagle strike that was like right on your head. Yeah, I somehow didn't kill you. I didn't see anyone in there. Yeah. Oh, maybe I survived because of this generated shield that I grabbed from uh, one of the dead body. Oh. That was me. <laughs> Here's one of these turrets, by the way. Watch out for it. I'm behind it. Oh, I think uh, I... what the? F I was. Oh, oh, where the hell did that tornado? Tornado come formed from? on me. I'm dead. Yeah, Dolphin eight, dollar ninety nine for the stuff. super chat says, you know, I'm kidding. I wish you stream more. I, I wish I could stream more as well. Stream more? Don't you do like twice a day? I do a lot. I do a lot, but oh, in four days. I wonder days. what I'm gonna watch Friday mornings. Yeah, I do a lot. I do a. Uh, oh god. Oh yeah, Friday mornings. <laughs> True. I do. Uh, I, I picked up Friday nights again now. Doing, oh uh, god, I'm surrounded stuff. by tornadoes. Where the hell am I gonna go? Talking about like entertainment shit. Mm -hmm. No, I couldn't see the point. Oh. oh my god. Get there was no way out. Fuck me, dude. These guys, dude. Get away the from tornadoes me. are literally converging right there. Jesus. But yeah, actually, back when you were doing the Q and A's with Lona, is really when I started actually regularly watching YouTube, and that's around what's it like five, six years ago? Is around when I started an actual account instead of just watching as like a non-son in a Yeah, a lot of people that watch me on his channel don't ever come over here. Like, so like me doing those podcasts. At the end of the show, I might get one sub, one, right? And I, I don't do it for to get to get viewership. You know what I mean? I, I just do it because yeah, it, it's it's, it's good content. Me and him. Yeah, yeah. That's you know, what speak, made me which, come I, over here, though. Yeah, like I, <laughs> I almost, like I almost, uh, like we sent you a message on Discord the other day. I was like, hey, I almost said like, hey, uh, can I come on your podcast again, or can I come on your Anytime. show? <laughs> not not because I had anything specific to talk about. It's like I just want to. I like being on your show. <laughs> any 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 time you want to do it, let me know. I cause like I, I I had I was it was at my fingertips. I was about to do it. and I was like, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to bother the guy. No, no. I, I'm telling you right now, on stream, anytime you want to do a show, you let me know. Anytime. Let the stream record show. He said it. I think what makes when you're on with Lono so good is that you guys usually have such a differing opinion or at least a different point of view on how you view the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it does make for good content. Oh, yeah. Yeah. People don't understand when we're doing the podcast, like they're like, like this this fucking guy shouldn't be on your show anymore. And it's like, you, you understand like that's the that's whole point. point. Right, for you to comment and you to engage with the content. That's why we do what we're doing. Yeah. Get so boring when I all agree. The talk yeah, is I concur. Right, right. It's right. the same thing. I think this game's great. Yeah, me too. I think this is <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's like what? No. You wanna talk about like even if even if I agree with him, I'll take a point and same with him. He does he does the same thing. I will take a stand from the other side, just like we did last week, right? Because of uh what were we talking about? Sea of Thieves. Uh oh, or... watch out for the uh, what the heck about just hit me? And he was like, oh, "Another tower." He's like, "I'll be the Xbox guy this time." You know, I was like, "I was like, well, that's weird." <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Let's see. Oh Let's boy. See yeah, people don't people don't understand uh, the way like content works and yeah, even with the chat, it gets. That's why he kind of leaves certain people there that have a contentious attitude with him. Because it's at least it's something to feed off of and not just have everyone agreeing with you. Because a lot of people do over there, the regular ones. And you have like the handful of us. Like even when I was over there, I was one of the guys who would not just be agreeing with them. I'd be basically be fighting the other side every time. Oh, there's the not towers as heavy up. as Mo, the towers but... up. Yeah, that tower blasted me the next week. Okay, hold on. I didn't know what the fuck was, was shooting at me. 
Where's this tower you guys? Over the oh, right where I'm at, we're backward. It's coming yeah. up. Oh, that one. I didn't even see it. I just thought it was another one of the damn buildings. There we go. Look, he's got me pinned. Come on. Come on. Hit him. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Dude, no no way bitch. that's not killing it. Oh, run away from this barrage. Oh, he sniped me perfectly. What the? One of them hit it. We got it. We got it. Okay. Yeah, after it, like, after it blew up, auto aim and it <laughs> sniped me. I literally sniped me. I just watched it turn and then immediately got hit. He says, the best are comments like, stop trashing on the game and make one. And Thor's like, responds and stops, stop trashing a video and make one. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I like good. how you uh you weren't playing around with that one guy. What was it um last week? Oh, with the guy in you were in, like, in you know what? T T G yeah, you T J like, baby. You know no, F U specifically. Yeah, T J baby. He he called me. Oh, Mikey. Where was I? I, mi I missed that one. No, no, he was on the other guy's podcast. Uh, he oh, comes okay. in and says uh, thirty baby or something like that. Or no, he called me Mikey. He mm -hmm. called me Mikey. I said I said. Don't you call me Mikey? I was like, and I started like going off on him. Mm -hmm. Like the only two yep, people call me Mikey. Just brush him off and be like, yeah, why don't you do? And then usually that's then. Yeah, because he's and he's taking like, a shot at me, trying to belittle me, whatever. So yeah, yeah. And he's just the guy down there in chat, just like trying to come at you. And mind you, it's probably someone none of us have ever heard of. And even soon, as soon as I there. said that, he goes, "Man, harsh crowd." I was just playing around. Yeah, sure you were. Yeah, it's, it's because yeah. because I called you <laughs> out. Yeah, because I called you out. That's why you're backing off. And this is why exactly. my my number one motto in life is everyone should get punched in the face once. Just so just, just just so you know. A big lesson to learn. Yeah, just so you know what a, getting punched in the face is like. Make them consider what they say to people uh, a little better. If you're only ever online being able to talk crap, you don't understand. You think you can do it in real life too. Yep. Yeah. And boy, do people not hold back online. Kinger, you have a you have a day job, right? During the day, indeed. All right, because I I wanted to I, I try to get my brother to do it, but he he's just he he likes doing the once a week type of thing with the podcast. But I wanted to do like a daily show because it's really hard for me to make content in the morning. Like people don't understand. Like I literally I'm on the seat of my pants the entire time. Like I don't prep for anything. Easy. I don't prep anything. 15 minutes before the show starts, I grab three articles, I, I, I make a title, I put in the thing, and then I just I just go. I don't write anything down. Where my buddy Lono, he has a whole, he, he writes everything. He has his whole morning. A whole monologue and everything, and he makes it look good, it. right? Me, I'm, I'm literally on the seat of my pants the entire time. So he has I'm, to spend a lot of time to do that, though. Yeah, and I don't have that time. So I, I literally just, just with the knowledge that I have and I the way I... The way I can just move and talk super fast and and constantly switch. Um, I wanted to do like a daily show with somebody else, like the banter off with. But if you have the morning show, I mean, obviously you're you're, you're working. So um, but, yeah, I got the old day job. <clears throat> yeah, because I like I like bantering back and forth. And the podcast that I want to do on Wednesday nights, interviewing people, it's so rough to get people to come on the show. No one answers your goddamn emails, man. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, because they, well, unfortunately, a lot of people either look at it as, like, what's in it for me. Of course, or of course. They're, uh, they're just too busy. Like, especially if they're, if they're, like, a one-man a one -man show, like, maybe they run a, a couple channels. They may just feel like they truly don't have time. But I'm willing to bet most people it's just like, well, what do I stand to gain from that? How will it help my audience? And they look and they go, oh, 2,000 subscribers. Well, ew. it's exactly right. I have some big people lined up. Um, one of them keeps kind of brushing me off nicely, which is nice. But um, the other person is responding. Yeah, yeah, they're responding, and they 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 want to come on, but obviously they're they you know they say they're busy or whatever, which is fine. Uh, at least yep. they're responding. Um, so I do have someone that's uh, bigger outside of like gaming, right? I'm actually trying to interview anybody that's on YouTube that's just has a, a channel that's been on for a couple years because I I want to pick their brain. I want to you know what I mean? Like learn something from them and. Get to know the person because every day all these content creators they just make stuff but nobody knows about them like nobody knows what their story is or what they did beforehand they're normal people you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah absolutely yeah i've been tempted like really tempted to 
talk about things that are not gaming related because I, I mean, I'm involved in a lot of other things in my life than gaming, but at the same time, it's like, I do my absolute best not to mix. Sure. You know, like the daytime stuff with this stuff. Cause the lat, the last thing I need is some disgruntled idiot on the internet going and, you know, causing trouble for my workplace or something where other people's income rely on, you know, that place running smoothly. I had, a, I had that, a buddy on. He's a stand-up comedian, Ginger Prime. He had, um, and when I when I asked him to come on the show, he was like, "No problem, I'll come on." And I was, he's like, "What do you want to talk about?" I was like, "I want to talk about your comedy." He's like, "Really?" I was like, "Yeah, I want to know about how you started stand-up comedy." He's like, "Oh, that's awesome. I'll talk about that all the time, right?" And th that's just it. A lot of people just want to talk about certain things. Now I I ask him ahead of time, like, "Hey, I, I won't bring up your family. I won't bring up certain things because uh, people do want their privacy." Yeah. Yeah, he, he loves to see, and he loves trying to get us to watch the comedy as well if we're interested in it. I want to go see him uh, in person in Texas one of these days. I, th I, I think he's funny. Friend. I do. I like, his his humor his humor and his and the way his comedy bits are, a lot of people don't get it. They get offended, which is good because that's what he's trying to do, right? Exactly. Like, Sounds uh, like some good comedy. He has those posts of people like trying to talk crap about how he looks or whatever because yeah. of a joke he does or something. Yep. <laughs> He takes it pretty well. Yeah, Ginger's a good guy. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't. I, I don't know how he does it with six kids, man. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. I six don't get, kids. Yeah, wow. six kids, and he does. He does streaming, and he's a, he's making his own. And they're game. all pretty young. He's a, he's a. Yeah, he's a, I I grew up in a house of six kids. I can't imagine if my dad had been like <laughs> running running with all that stuff at the same time. Six kids, man. I got the one, and. uh Lines everywhere you got you gotta be with the person you're having all them kids with. I can't see it any other way. Yeah, feel that. Wild. Oh my god, dude. Some people are built different, maybe I guess. Oh my god, Jesus. And I figured uh, out why my kill count is low because I'm not spending as much time on the little guys. I'm unloading this uh, heavy machine gun and the shotgun into the more armored ones. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't realize it was launchers, so it's not really spamming too many bullets. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't realize it till just now. But I have. I'm mostly ignoring the light enemies and only focusing on the big ones. Uh, I can't ignore anybody that's shooting a bullet in my face. I have to kill them. <laughs> They're rolling up on us, dude. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Jinder's working on a game. Yeah, that's what I said. He's he's time. he's making a game at the exact same time. Yeah, it's, it's impressive, right, man. And he's pumping out videos like crazy. My notifications yeah. are popping off all day. I've thought a few times, like, man, if I if I didn't have a day job, the amount of content I could put out would be unreal. The problem would... though is you can't make too much content because you you're you're this is true. Your content, people will revolt against it because you're you're posting too much or your you notifications oversaturate. You oversaturate. Yeah. You can't do more than like three a day. I, I do a live morning show, I do an upload, and then I do the live stream in the evening. And now I'm posting because um, I'm trying to play ball. I'm trying to grow my channel. Um, I, I'm doing shorts now, right? And the shorts are actually popping off pretty good for for my size. They're averaging around four or five hundred views for each one. Mm -hmm. I, I created think, another channel just for shorts. I just think that's why he has like six to ten channels of Ginger. Does he have that many? Dude, yeah. I I tried shorts for my channel and, and it kept screwing with my analytics. Like it was. Making my subscriber count go up, but then like at the same <laughs> nice at the same speed I would gain them, I'd also lose them when I posted something that wasn't a short. It was like unreliable subscriber count. Yeah. And it was also screwing with my analytics, because like if I'm wanting to look at my views and my watch time, like shorts were total it's personal preference on my part. Like I didn't like that data meshing. So I ended up just uh make it a different channel for it specifically. I think there's a reason why a lot of bigger channels will separate that into separate channels. I, yeah, I have a buddy I have a buddy that, that tries to help me. Um and he told he told me he's like you gotta do shorts. I was like, but I don't I don't want I to hate shorts. shorts but... I, I, I don't I don't want to do them. And he's like you gotta do it. He's like he's like I know you don't want to he's like but you got to he's like that well, like, that will bring in so much more uh He's like, even if even if the view count goes make, up, yeah, he's like more that. people see you 
and it promotes you more and that's what you want and i was like that's right. exactly what i think the most valuable thing about shorts is for someone who doesn't want to focus on shorts because it really if you think about it all it is is just snippets of i'm assuming i haven't seen any of your shorts but i'm gonna guess your shorts are probably snippets of other longer content that you've done yeah and so what it does is i mean we make pennies off of shorts yeah like i'm, you, I'm not you doing would, it for, for the money yeah. you yeah you would have to make probably a hundred million views a month on shorts to like actually be able to pay your bills and that's absurd but the the most valuable thing i think it does is just it's like it's like commercials basically it's like commercials for you and that way oh what holy cow yeah. one people that don't want to watch long form we'll still get to see what you're all about and Ooh. two uh it's just repeat exposure to your face and your voice and your ideas it's like it's like it's literally like commercials for your long forms content yeah my, my buddy's name is creature what's going on creature <laughs> I, I, I thought that's what you were talking about youtube wants shorts gotta do shorts that's correct i don't i don't Ooh, love yeah. it i i do kind of like uh i do kind of like like making myself reminding myself when i'm doing other things to be entertaining enough to be able to make a short out of it right um but yeah i mean it, it is like i made my first original short uh, during the eclipse was that yesterday yeah, the day before it, yeah. monday like that that is the only short i've ever made that is purely for the shorts channel everything else is uh, mostly clips of other stuff. I, I do everything very strategically, right? And I know it doesn't look like I, I do, but my long form content and the way I'm set up on my screen with me over on the left side, that mm -hmm. now that I do my shorts, that literally is the size of the phone, right? So when I break out my shorts, I literally just crop it to that point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's uh, it. I bet that works great. Yeah. And it, I did my edit today. I did my edit for the long video. It took me 20 minutes and did the short. It took me a little longer because. The content I made today wasn't more of a article, read the article and then give you my thoughts. It was literally just giving my thoughts the entire time. So it wasn't, it wasn't structured in any way. So I had to pull and, uh, and cut it a little bit more for the short, but, uh, it's doing very good for it. So very nice. Watch out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I had, I well. had a couple of shorts do really well on my main channel. And they got me a ton of subscribers, but then the next long form video I posted, I lost basically all of those. <laughs> like, like I think I got like 30 subscribers within uh, a week, and then I, I, I posted for one views. video and they were all gone. I would kill for your views, man. <laughs> well, the the long, uh, I'll tell that to my last video. <laughs> I didn't see what was your last one. Uh, the one about paying to progress. And and how many how people many are really contentious with that in game? They are. They're very content. Oh, I, I was gonna. I was gonna watch that on stream. I see. I don't like to use, do it too early, so I, I want to let it sit. Honestly, for... this this one doesn't look like it's going anywhere. You're welcome to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it won't do anywhere any, anywhere on my channel either. I'm but... a little. I'm a little mind boggled, honestly, because I thought the video would be like right up my audience's alley, and it's getting like less than less than an even like an average number of views we get on my channel. I don't really know what's up with it. Have you, have I don't you know. tried? Have you tried changing the title? Have you tried changing? Three times. Okay. Thumbnail? <laughs> I, I have not changed the thumbnail. Because maybe it's arrogant speaking. I think the thumbnail is already good. Well, you know and what? I, You're speaking to someone that's so arrogant and, and refuses because I'm stubborn as fuck to change certain things. <laughs> so. Uh, I have I am notorious for retroactively changing thumbnails and titles on my videos. Like, there's some videos on my channel right now. I've probably changed the thumbnail five times. But this one specifically, I'm like, I feel like it's already good. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, I thought the topic was a hot topic, but I guess not. And that's not me, like, oh, poor me, but it's more like I'm just confused. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't really understand. Salty says, but also splits your audience and those that are short subscribers will only watch your shorts. Yeah, but that, that's fine. Um, I'm okay if people just want to watch the shorts. I'm okay if people want to watch just the live. My, I know this channel is a live channel, right? So when people go live, when I when I go live, I'll get my three to four hundred views or whatever it is, and it won't go any further than that afterwards. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay that people just watch my shorts or just watch my uploads or just watch. Um, I I look at my t I, I look at my YouTube channel as a television station, like a ch right there's. There's it basically is long dramas. There's there's comedies. There's there's different things. Not everyone's watching that studio for everything they're doing. You know what I mean? So that's the way I look at it. 
Speaking of which, I've actually had a lot of fun streaming, and I gotta thank you, because I would have never even considered doing that if you hadn't uh, invited me on your show that first time. Awesome. Yeah, I, I, even, I love doing the live. I have thought about doing that. I love doing the live. I, that's, I think, what I'm meant to do, is just banter back and forth and have a good time. Mm -hmm. To be fair well, on that thing you were saying about the mornings where you're just kind of like struggling to rip it together in 15 minutes. From my perspective, you do pretty good. It seems like you always got it thought out every time. Yeah, I, I assumed like you always did like at least a day's research beforehand. Nope. Cause you you <laughs> you don't seem to uh, get lost like in the in the topic. Like there's very I don't think I've ever seen a scenario in one of your shows where you're like I don't know what to say about this. <laughs> I think know? it's good because you go off of chat conversation as well and make your own topic out of that. Then you go back to articles and like. You yeah, got a lot to talk about between chat and the article. So I, I learned a long time ago. So I would write down, this was years ago, I would write down like 10 bullet points of like what to talk about. And my my channel was, you know, I would have like five people, 10 people, and I would burn through those in no time whatsoever. Because you would ask a question and then no one would say anything. And you're like, all right, well, I'm going to go to the next one. So then I started, I started debating. I told you to get back. I started debating of, of how to do it, and I was like, "All right, well, I'm just gonna read the article, right, and give you my honest thoughts as I read the article, and then I'll banter back and forth with chat because when I read the article, you guys are gonna hear stuff, and then you're gonna start bantering about what you just heard, and then I'll bounce off that, and I was like, this is much better than me coming up with a dialogue and then trying to do it like, what do you think? Because I could go through a whole dialogue and nobody will answer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Where if I if I let the chat dictate like what they're saying or what they do, they're they're engaging with me, and that's exactly what I want. Yeah, I try to respond if it's something I know anything about at all. <laughs> and I, I also don't come across as a person that if I don't know something, I won't bullshit my way to be like, oh yeah, yeah, this is what I, I'll be like. No, nah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. And I'll look it up. I'll look it up right on on stream. I'll look it up. Works pretty well when you do. I think it, if you had oh, like shit. a thousand people, we're out of reinforcements. Out of be careful. Then maybe you wouldn't look it up on the spot. Well, you not so much read and keep up with. Yeah, well, I, I figure I figure the way if if I ever get to a point where I have like hundreds of people watching me live, instead of answering all the people in chat with you know, I would have to limit it to the people that are like members to my channel. You yeah, you'd have to do something. I mean. It'd, it'd be impossible to even keep like your entire show would just be you responding to comments eventually like if there's enough people that are all that all want to share their thoughts yeah well that's basically what lonos is after the monologue right For the yeah i mean it, 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 when so you get to that point it's just too hard to keep up with it you know what i mean yeah i got you brother come to me it works once you have enough but when he gets like higher than his normal like the thousand plus then it's like you know, you're not going to be able to read everything. You're going to have to be a lot pickier about which ones you read and, and work off of. That was actually really freaking cool. Yeah, we're watching We're watching you on stream right now. Oh! No pressure. Oh, you guys are watching me? No, I'm watching Kingard right now. I, I dove backwards Pulling with the, the heavy movie. machine gun. Oh! Oh, I missed! Argus, oh, need, wow. Make sure your uniform's dirty this time, okay? Yeah, make sure you get covered in blood, or you didn't actually do anything. I'm <laughs> um, look. I'm, I've been rolling around in it this time, <laughs> diving right into piles. <laughs> Ginger has Here eleven channels. Is that true? Oh my yeah, god, he's got a lot. Yeah, that's insane. Jesus Christ. And then he's on work to game channel that's kind of like shared or was used to be shared, and then he does that on the Twitch one and the YouTube one at the same time. I think I don't know if he still does kick. At the same time as those two, every time he streams, then he does like Dang. the lunchtime streams, uh, certain event streams. Cre creature, you, you say you day. say it sounds good until I sit down in front of the camera. You, you don't think my streams are good? <laughs> You're just upset because I I don't plan anything. <laughs> Maybe he's mean, he's meaning like in in theory. Or watch, I'm gonna throw a grenade there. Oh, that's not you. It maybe he means like in theory, like it's like, oh yeah, you could do that, but then you get in front of the camera and it's like, oh shoot, what do I say? Yeah, I've seen sounds like pizza where he does the drill sergeant. It's hilarious, Melrose. There's so many freaking 
fabricators around us. Yeah, there is. We've only got seven and a half minutes left to still use uh, <clears throat> stratagems and no reinforcements. Well, our objectives are over, so now it's just we're going to exfil. I think think we should be okay. I'm, I'm, I'm next up when uh, if someone dies, I guess I get to uh, come in next. Uh, yep. Once his minutes up, you can come back in. It's on cooldown. Yeah, I, I like streaming a lot. I, I mean, obviously, it doesn't. Oh. It, oof. Oof. We just Jesus. Um, watch that happen. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even my explosion. The guy was a mine. Dang um, it. Yeah, I, I like streaming a lot, but it doesn't it doesn't pay it doesn't pay the bills, but it, it does bring in money, which I'm amazed that it does bring in money the way it does. Yeah, I think Ginger likes that his isn't being. Watch done out! Oh, oh, he survived. The there's, there's, there's those mines yeah. on the ground. You gotta watch those. Oh, you're the last one alive, dude. Oh, no. Oh, what Six happened to the other guy? They all stepped on landmines. <laughs> everyone, yeah, everyone stepped on mines. Stay alive another 10 seconds and call somebody in. <laughs> dude, if we lose this right now. <laughs> because right. it's a freaking mine. Careful where you're running. No, I'm just... the... <laughs> Out of your left. Out of your left. Out of your right. Call, you got a, re call you got, you got a reinforcement now. You got a reinforcement now. Oh, here it is. It's my time to come in. Oh, oh God, don't go over there. there. Don't go over oh, there. If you don't have a stratagem, don't even bother. No, I'm not going that way. Ain't no way. To the front. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There was just so many piled on that hill, I don't understand. Oh, yeah, oh no. Where did that go? I'm, I'm running closer toward extraction. <laughs> Requesting sentry. Look at all of them over there. Oh they're my so god. Oh, they're gonna wipe they're I gonna wipe that turret out of there. Have a taste of yeah, both That's did. not where I put that. Oh for fuck's sake. Alright, well you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're, we're just gonna throw uh, There we go. Nice. Oh god! Uh, here come the tornadoes! Oh god! Oh god! I'm stuck in this little corner here. Fuck you! Oh god! He oh, just keep running on me. I don't like it. I'm switching back and forth between the two of you spectating, and I see stamina bar down, stamina bar down. Yeah. It's making me making me nervous. I'm I'm just running. I know you're both you're both just hightailing it. Oh yeah, I'm I, he I hear terrible. Here. I hear terrible things behind thirty right now. Oh yeah, I hear voices. Oh yeah, he's got that swarm over there. Oh god. He won't drop. He won't die. Fifteen more seconds. Oh! Oh! No! No! Get up. Dim. Ooh, step, 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 step. Fire! Where did this random guy come from? Alright. Okay. He's he's begging to be three. reinforced. Oh my god. <laughs> you, can you throw the reinforce? I I can't stop. <laughs> Calling in oh, for fuck's sake. Leave me alone. Oh, it's me. Did I die before him? Leave me alone. Oh, oh Argus just died. I don't even know what hit me. I'm on fire. What just oh, happened? Oh, God, no. Something randomly killed me. I was running I out in the middle of nowhere. I spawned and caught on fire. Did you call the ship in? You did. Yeah, you don't have to get in it right away, though. It's going to abort because oh. you're not close enough. Oh, You'll have God. to call it in again. I'm not gonna make it. I mean, it. it's fine. We still got three. I'm not gonna make it. Nope, dead. Oh, no. Dead. The That's automatons it. get rough. Judgment day. At least we got the objective. <laughs> I did my part. Give us those sweet war bonds. Look at that guy. Was he jerking me off? What are you guys doing? Oh, fuck you guys. Look at this guy. They're hitting me. As I'm, they're doing that destiny thing. They, where they are. They're the killing me as I'm down. Your ghost after you're already gone. 
Uh, what asshole? They're, they're, they're doing it more often. Uh, they're emoting. Yeah, the, look at the, is this teabagging? Are they teabagging me? Teabag, yeah, yeah, they're teabagging me. Oh, look, we liberated the, the thing. Look at that. We're an unstoppable force. Yeah. I mean, we keep dying, but we're, <laughs> we're, my body is it an got unstoppable there, force. That's right. We can never have too many heroes fighting for peace. Let's see the stats uh, once again. Oh no! Where are we all at? Random cape stay in place on anyone else's else screen. Not only do you get the most oh, kills, but you're the most accurate. Look at that. You, you got accuracy, if I went back most to my kills. automatic weapon, I'd get more kills. And I am three bullet, three shotgun. bullet shy of being did, most shots fired. But did you see my fire shot? That's that's simplistic right there. I gotta account for the bullet drop oh, yeah. and the explosion radius on this plasma shotgun. The reason I keep using it though is it is good for getting through armor and those little ATST things. Alpha says uh, Fallout show equals good. Nice. I have to give it a watch. You get just said here. like eight episodes dropped already. Yeah, they all dropped. They all dropped tonight. Yeah, I can't stand watching a show, and then it's good in the first episode, then you gotta wait for more episodes. Okay. You know what's surprisingly okay. good? Um, X-Men uh, 97 is actually pretty good, if you guys like the X-Men. I forgot about that. What what service is that one on? That is on Disney+. Plus. I do have Disney+, Plus. So I have to give that a watch. I feel like I have almost everything. Boys, I think that's it for me. Yeah, it is for me. Yeah, yeah Kinger, any uh, anytime you want to come on the uh come on the show if you want to do uh Wednesday podcast and just bullshit. If you want to come on the Thursday podcast with me and Sarge, you're more than welcome to join us on Thursday nights as well. I could just uh I'll make it I don't know. Sarge might eat me for lunch. <laughs> no, he's he's a teddy bear. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Chew me up and as, spit as, me as, out. As, as long as you're not as long as you're not a uh a video game developer or uh, a company, ah. you're, you're fine. <laughs> Me and Sarge get along pretty well when I'm uh, up in there or in chat. If you're using shorts properly, there's no data to suggest audience uh, division. Uh, and if you're trying to make content with shorts, yes, you run that risk. Yeah, I can see why people would make a channel just on shorts. I understand that. I appreciate that, Melrose. Well, well, boys, I'll catch you later. Thanks right. for having me. Later, Kinger. Yep, thanks Bye. for being on. See y'all. You're making highlights or clips. You're just advertising the primary offering, which which is what I'm doing, right? Which is what I'm doing right now uh, with that. I'm trying to think. Um, I got to edit some stuff. Let me see what it is right Allied now. Allied Destroyer has left Squadron. Yeah, it's at four. Every, every short that I've done is, well, almost every short I've done is in the 400s. And then it just sits on the shelf. Like it gets propped up and then it just dies. Once it hits the plateau, it's like, and this is what I don't like about shorts, creature, right? So they they take the short and they'll put it out there, and then once it hits the quota, right? Once it hits that that point, they they shelf it and they put it away. I'm gonna back. I don't want to quit. Quit. I just want to. How do I leave group? It's probably your group, so you have to kick the other guys. Mm. All right. Kick it. Kick. And kick. I'm kicking you, Travis. There you go. Also, I agree with you, Travis. What did you say? On the fire thing. Oh. Said they need a nerf fire. Yeah, fire's a little a little uh, OP. Like I was in that I was in the shield and I died it instantaneously. Yeah. It just melted. But even the uh, robots that shoot it out, it's like instant death. Like there, there is no like it damages you more, it's you're either dead or you're dead. Right. Yeah, so here I, I've been doing shorts for a week now. Right, let me see. And the shorts that I've done in the last week, first one was 407, next one was 409, then it was 433, then 487. Then there was one in there that was 36, which never just never hit the shelf. Then the next one's 422, 402, 475, and 469. Right, so it's like once they hit that like 430 stop, YouTube's like, all right, shut it off. We, he doesn't need it anymore. 
and they, they give someone else a, a, a go at it. And then maybe like a week from now, it'll go back up. <clears throat> this is a fun game, man. This is a, this is a good game. I have to yeah, I have 184 bonds. Go to... If I should... Wait, do I have enough? Oh, I do. I can unlock the cutting edge one from the super credits. Is this one worth it? Are the guns in here pretty good? Um, Those are the ones I'm using. The shotgun on the second page is what I'm currently using. And I do like that uh, that gun you're looking at on the first page. This one? That's what I was using before the shotgun. Sickle. Energy it basically based. heats up and you don't have to get ammo for it as long as you don't let it fully heat up and have to reload the mag. Oh. It comes with like six mags, and you can use it infinitely as long as you don't overheat the entire mag. It just cools down on its own. And it shoots pretty fast, very steady. All right, so I can buy this. See, and this is what I like, right? I didn't I didn't spend any money. I have yet to spend any money. Uh, I got the other war bond. I got this one unlocked, I, and now I'm going to do this one. And isn't tomorrow the next... Oh, wait a minute now. Maybe I should wait. Is another one coming out now, too? I think tomorrow is the new war bond, is it not, chat? Hmm. I think third... I'm going to wait. I literally just bought this one today. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait. I'm going to wait because I think the, I think tomorrow is the next war bond. I'm interested to see what weapons they put in that one. Just just because if, if something comes out and it's, like, cool or something... I didn't buy that one yet, so... And it's there for you to buy later anyway. Yeah, and that's what I, I, I like about that as well. Yeah, Honestly, sure. yeah. more games need to be doing that. Well, yay, you're the paying. Patent. You're already yay, made paying that patent for that now. Stuff. <laughs> that battle pass one, the battle pass patent, yeah, the one that Call of Duty's already been doing with the battle pass. Yeah, but EA's for the entire it. game that's yeah, out. Yeah, but EA's gonna patent it. They patented the, the thing. Well, well they let's created... see how successful they are after patenting it. Though. Yeah, well, they created the fad, and every other company adopted it. Uh, yeah, yeah, with the TikTok stuff. On the first page, pretty sure tomorrow is the new. Yep, okay. I have to check that out too. Then next one's tomorrow. Hopefully, yeah, so cool I'm gonna work. wait. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste the uh, the credits right now. Well, if people tell you the guns suck, then you can always come back and buy these ones. That's correct. <laughs> correct. But you know, you could you could always you. go on the lower level and just farm super super credits as well. You just run around and open up stuff. That's what I need to do. I'm not that far into the first war bond yet. I'm like half, maybe not even halfway. It's going to be largely explosive there. stuff. Do they have a, um, is there something that shows uh, on the internet what it is, Travis? Or no? The thing I'm using now, that shotgun is plasma and explosive. So it's, it's basically like a grenade launcher. The shotgun I'm using right now. It even has an arc you got to account for. And an AOE that can hurt you guys as well. Streamlabs just updated their their servers where they can do TikTok streams. TikTok streams. If you want to get into that thing. Mm, I'm not sexy enough to be on TikTok. I mean, they do a little bit of everything on there, including that stuff. <laughs> the full-blown stuff. Yeah, I hate... I hate in Twitter now. Like, you'll have a post... And you like hit the post and then you look at the replies and there's like ass cheeks, naked shit. And I'm like, I've seen full blown yeah, full porn. porn. Yeah. Right in the like actual links. But the video is playing at the same time. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm I, like, how the <laughs> every every damn tweet. Yeah. It's like, hey, uh, check out this. Check out this. Uh, this Tupperware commercial. And you're like, you click on the Tupperware commercial and then the first reply is a dick in someone. And you're like, what? It, it'll be something like you you what could put that? me in your Tupperware yeah. container <laughs> it's, and then it's the freaking video what, right there. what the hell did I just click on it, I, they do it every time I don't understand uh, what's going on with that they must have a lot of bots pumping those things out dude there's a lot of bots using a lot of stuff have you seen uh the bots they're using for the Disney stuff and have you seen the bots and I I'm watching no, YouTube videos but there's people breaking it down and they like they do the legwork and they see that they because you'll see like command inside the Twitter thing and then it says like in quotes or whatever and then you go look at all the, the history and you'll see the same posts from the same people saying the exact same things and I'm just like oh bro that's definitely a bot yeah. 
the bots are insane on there. Yeah, well, that's another thing, Salty, because of Twitter. Everyone goes uh, Twitter blue, and then you can make money off your tweets. So, How much are you really making on that, though? There's some people that, if they do it correctly, they're making a couple hundred. There's a, One girl said that she made, uh, where was it? Was it TikTok or was it Twitter? I think it was TikTok. Instagram. It was Instagram. She made $9,000 by just making posts, and she she's a nobody. She's just a a regular person, and she's made $9,000 because she made posts that people were engaging with. Ginger's on there pretty. I don't know. I have to talk to him and see what he thinks about it, see if it's doing him any, or if he's even paying attention to it. You know, it's funny to me that a lot of women complain that they, uh, it's not fair, you know, in certain things, but uh, the women on Twitter and Instagram and all these other things, they make so much more money than dudes do. Because of just every time, just because Unless of the way they're like the top point five percent, you could be a, you like could be the women are just banking it. Yeah, you could be a, a three, right? You could you could literally be yep. like a Suicide Squad, uh, a, a grade of three. <laughs> and if you wear like a mid drift yep. tank top or something, you, you're making cash. Yeah, it's it's pretty wild. And then the thing is, they'll complain about it, but it's they want full control over it. It's not that they complain that they have to do it they want to do it because it's easy yeah yeah well it's not easy i'll tell you that it's definitely not easy well it, what they have to do is easy but yeah they, depending on how they go about it. people people on twitter they just you have to have a thick skin to do anything on the internet if you don't have a thick skin you're oh, never yeah. you're never gonna fucking make it you're gonna see the most vile stuff responding to you even if it'll be people who haven't even watched what you just put there or seen what you said they saw your picture and name and immediately in their head were already coming up with stuff to say without oh, yeah. watching anything you just put up. Well, Kingard said something earlier when he, people just comment on the videos. I was going to ask him how many people comment without even watching the video, right? And that that happens all to me all the time. People will literally write a book to you. And when you read their comment, you're like, they didn't even watch the video because if they didn't... And you can tell they yeah, didn't watch they it did, based on Because they wouldn't comment. have read the book. They wouldn't have wrote a book out if they watched the video because you say what... They're saying in the in the thing, so a lot of people do that. They just want to, they just want to chat. That's exactly or, it. You'll read the comment and then be like, "Well, I could tell by you saying this that you didn't read it." Yeah, because that doesn't even make sense with what I said. <laughs> right, with what I said exactly. Yeah, it's it's funny. No, I right. see that all the time. Like right now, I have no idea what I'm what I'm doing for tomorrow's show. I'll find out tomorrow because mostly the time, most news stories, most most stories come out in the morning. So I'll go to breakfast. I eat breakfast, and while I'm at breakfast, I go through Twitter, and I'm like, "Oh, that story looks good." I'll I'll throw it You're in. You're gonna or, find stories. Or Krebsy those throws journalists in some, aren't gonna not yeah. put a story up. So Kreb, Krebsy's one they of the can't. people that puts in the most stories. Like he's constantly putting stories in me for me to 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 look up and read. I have to start looking. And then and the funny part is, I, every I don't read the article. I just look at the title and go, "Yeah, I can talk about that." Yep. And then you'll know by how most of us normally comment on your stuff in chat. If it's something that'll jive with the chat as well. Yeah, and then from that, I, I feel like the inner engagement that I get live with chat out of the three stories, then I'll take one or th all three if they were good, and I'll make them breakout videos. And if they're not, they will, or use them as breakout videos. Or I'll just take one and use it, you know? Yep, and if not, then it's just fuel to keep talking to chat. Right, because it, 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 right, it, it does good for the live stream, but it might not do good for, for upload. Works out pretty well. You can be flexible with it. Just wing it with either Xbox is dead or Sony is dead. Yeah, that's all you have to do, Reese. <laughs> Every time. I'm telling yeah. you. You will never not have someone comment on it. And even if they don't want to, they'll at least comment about the fact that you're doing it in the first place. Right. <laughs> so you're getting them no matter what. The Friday streams that I'm trying to do, th those are like, I'm so tired at the end of the week and Friday. And I'm like, I don't want to do it, but then I do it. I, I kind of like what we did last week. Where I just kind of rambled on, and I didn't do any kind of structure, mm -hmm. which I I did I couldn't make any breakout videos because the way I did it, but I just laughed afterwards because I was I was just like we went over the Mandela effect, and then I started talking about the fucking collider. <laughs> That's just, the beauty of doing it the way you want to do it. Yeah, I just it's funny because people people interact with that shit. Hey, people like it. There was the there was is, like twenty seven people live listening to me talk about the fucking Hydra collider. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's a good thing. That's what you want to see. You want to be able to talk about what you actually want to talk about instead of be like, man, I got to talk about this crap because this is what people want to hear. Yeah. Yeah, I, li I just like talking about random shit. And I, and I think it fits on the nerding with 30 thing. You know what I mean? Because it's literally nerding yep. is doesn't mean games, just whatever. Anything you're passionate about, basically. When we're getting the Monopoly guy uh, reveal, I don't have the I don't have the uh, the Monopoly game here. It's at my mom's house. I'll have to ask Sarge if he can take a picture. But Sarge Sarge doesn't know how to use his camera on his phone, so it might be a little hard. You're gonna have to give him the quick YouTube tutorial. <laughs> you can figure out how to do anything on there, <laughs> even a damn surgery. Nah, he knows how to use the camera. We'll, we'll see. He just all. doesn't want to use. He the just doesn't want to use it. Mean. That's right. <laughs> Right now, Sarge is probably playing Boulder's Gate 3. I got to get back into it. I've only got to the edge of uh, Act 1 and 2, I, where it kind of crosses over. I only have 11 and a half hours in the game. I loved it. I just don't have time to go back to play it. I have it on PlayStation and Xbox. But I was I thought I was going to put more time in before it came to Xbox, but then it came to Xbox, and I'll be like... Yeah, that's where I play all my games, so I just started mainly playing it on there. Well, the worst, worst part about that game is I can't stream it. There's no way I can stream it because people would be bored out of their fucking minds. Probably. I started a, I started a new campaign with one of my buddies. It's, it's, you know, it's pretty fun to play with people. It's, yeah, it's pretty fun. It'd be nice if you could do it on stream. Then you'd be able to have time to play it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, on the weekends, but otherwise I, it takes time. Yeah, on the weekends I try to play. Like I haven't gone back to Final Fantasy fourteen yet. I want to go back a little bit to. Um, that takes time too. <laughs> yeah, Baldur's Gate three. Then there's also after playing Fallout seventy six last night, I kind of want to go back and play through those the little campaign. Yeah, that, I heard Fallout seventy six is pretty good these days. It's like, it is a good not time. Good all around, but a lot better than it was before. Like people that play it now enjoy it. I, you know. I talk about the IP stuff all the time. I would take a game like Fallout 76, obviously not at launch. I don't want what, what Fallout 76 yeah. was at launch, but if they made a Star Wars game, same type of mentality where like I was a person, like a light MMO, but in Star Wars, or I'm really looking forward to the Transformers game that's supposed to come out later this year. Um, I, I'll take it. I, I really like Fallout 76. I think it's a, for what it is, it's a really fun, good game. There's a lot of yeah, there's I, a lot of content in there, man. A lot of content in there. My buddy played the heck out of it back in the day. I like that you can build your whatever kind of base you want and literally just have it pop up wherever. And you just got I mean, there's there's a lot you could do with the game and it, and it's, it, it is pretty fun. And they've changed it quite a bit since launch. Du Duplus just posted the the story I ran with this morning about Tomb Raider, The Shadows of Truth. Dad oh, was. And that's oh that's that's God. another thing. On my channel, you get news stories that are like brand freaking new. Like like Exactly. It's super new. No Not one's talking about friends. it. Yeah, nobody's talking about the fucking shit by the time I'm doing it. Cuz it literally just went yeah. out it just went on Twitter and then you'll you'll see it like two two days later. Like IGN will pick it up. That's because they actually have to plan it out. They're like, damn, I already have to do this article today. I can't talk about this other thing. Right. Unless it's like insanely crazy. And then they're like, nah, drop that other one. We're doing this. But yeah, they, they do the day or two later because they already got stuff planned out. The thing about you is you're just like, nah, I can talk about it right now. Right on the spot. Someone can link you something and you just talk about it. He says, I saw a tweet this guy going deep into with the collider and the link the eclipse and the earthquakes and now the moon and the sun pull on the earth and with them I increase the power of the collider really I didn't go down that far all the way down the rabbit I, hole. I didn't go down the rabbit hole that like that Krebsy I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to go do some, do some <laughs> research and when I say research it'll probably be 15 minutes while I'm on the toilet um <laughs> best time to do it when you're most concentrated you got nothing distracting salty says I bought Marvel's Midnight Suns and I'm now a card nerd oh you know uh a friend of the channel um a fate walker when the game came out i didn't like the card system and then he was streaming it on his discord and i went in and i started talking to him and he showed me a whole bunch of stuff and i was like wow i actually kind of like that like the card system threw me off like i didn't like it i don't own the game but i watched him play it and i was like you know what i might pick this up when it's on sale and i don't know if i would i don't know if i would stream it i think it would be another game i pick up and play off off stream but it, it seemed like a lot of fun that's one of the hundreds of games I've bought and played 10 minutes of and then still haven't gone back to 
because I keep going back to the same live service games that keep adding stuff to them, like Destiny. Yeah. And then that's where all my damn time is going. Some days I just like a whole week I'm not playing the games that I know I have to keep up with. Just play stuff like Baldur's Gate or other single player stuff. Krebsy, they did all they did update the map. There's things on the map that weren't there when the game came out. Yeah, there's there's new locations For and new Fallout. Things. Yeah, in Fallout, yeah. They've Yeah, they've I'm telling you, man, they've done a they've really, really good job. They have uh we, we just got to Atlantic City last night, and there's like three or four locations in Atlantic City. There's the pit, um, for, you know, for Pittsburgh and, and whatnot. I haven't been there yet. On the actual map itself, they have new locations. They've done a really, really good job with that game. Then they've added to where there's a bunch of NPCs in the game. Oh, tons. Now, compared to back then when everyone was like, this game sucks. Why didn't they put NPCs? They yeah, just there, got the tape recordings and crap. There was no there was no humans, and now there's humans everywhere. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's really it's done really well. Uh, Games changed a ton since launch. Same with ESO, Elder Scrolls Online. Um, they've changed that game so much over the years. As, as, I just that read an article, fun. they actually I forget that they made like two billion dollars since they two billion dollars since they came out. And Which, if you pay the little fifteen dollars a month, uh, you get all the DLC besides basically the newest one. And there is a lot of DLC. It's like twenty something different packs. Mm. It's, and like those are all content things, not like here's your little gear pack for this gear. Pack. It's all DLC content, um, and then it gives you like the unlimited storage and all that crap, which does make the game a little better to play. But uh, that's a good game altogether, though. Yeah, that so. that would be cool, Travis, with the um, with Outlaws. But at the same time, they would have to put a whole system in where you create a character and all that, and it could be separate. Look, what I, was the Star Wars MMO? They just need to make a new one of those. Uh, Star Wars so, Galaxies yeah. was so good. It was so good. Way ahead of its time. Uh, it was. Even Star Wars uh, The Old Republic now, is, a, is a really good game as well. I don't know if you've ever played that one. I think that's the one I have played. Uh, I think they just need to make an up-to-date graphical fidelity kind of looking one. Make Just make it look... I mean, you're not going to get those new single-player Dude, Star Wars can you graphics, imagine bring it up a little bit? Can you imagine Star Wars Battlefront 2 graphics, like but MMO? That would be fantastic. Oh I would play God. the heck out of that. <laughs> I'd even take uh like a Hell Divers 2 style yeah. in Star Wars. Yeah. I'd take that. Yeah, the, but I'd like an MMO. I do like MMO. Star Wars would be dumb not to make a game like this. Would be dumb. I feel like it's like it's an easy, easy idea to steal. If it, it it's in so easily, there's no way they can't be thinking about at least thinking about doing it. You know, Krebsy, I I agree with you, but at the same time, I don't think they they will, they will ever change it. It's just too it's 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 too baked in now. Yeah, they're not changing that because it's it's part of the monetization too. Oh yeah, bad batch. This is 100 percent bad batch. Uh, make a four man, five man team. Right, make it different than Hell Divers. Hell Divers is four man. You make this five man, six man, and you can make it multi plat. So even if the one people that are on PlayStation like, man, I already got Hell Divers. I'm not playing that. You got everyone else who doesn't have Hell Divers. You know, they're like and the Xbox guys, maybe some PC guys that didn't want to buy Hell Divers, but really like Star Wars. You you can pull in from them. You know, I agree with Krebsy Eclipse. It's just that they're never going to change it. It it's literally very successful the way it is. And they, I guarantee you, they do it because it's easy. Like it's just easy to do stuff. Like because if it was too complex, uh, and made it feel like weighty and stuff like that, then, like, I don't know if you want it to be like Elden Game Ring or like long Dark long Souls long type long. of heavy, like when they with the combat. I don't think you'll ever get that. I think they wanted to go with the still kind of Skyrim style, uh, combat. Yeah, and and the game's you know, has been out for a long time, so it's they a, were probably like basing a lot of years, it I off think. of Skyrim. I think it's been out for eleven years. Yeah, it's been a while. They were probably thinking Skyrim, but online basically when they were designing it. So probably a lot of their design choices revolved around that, including the combat. I'll tell you what: if Starfield can do uh, what Fallout seventy six is doing, that game would be fantastic be nice give me a, a little more frames per second on console i wouldn't be mad either and then if uh hogwarts could add 
a online aspect as well, like a Grand Theft Auto type of thing, I'd be okay with that as well. It'd be interesting to see, that's for sure. All right. I'll... What were you going to say? I said I like the idea at least that people come up with about uh, if they make more games or like bigger DLCs, it'd be like the other schools they mentioned in Hogwarts have like a whole new area with, with just a whole different type of... Well, that, that article we read there. last week where they talk about like Fortnite and them are the only games that continuously on the top boards and everyone's looking for that you know that Fortnite type of game where they constantly keep coming back I, I'm okay if Hogwarts just updates and does what they make that a live service game I'm okay if Starfield makes that a live service game you know what I mean like it's just more things that I, I did enjoy and they make more of it and if you're a person that doesn't like Starfield maybe you're looking for Fortnite or maybe you're looking for Hogwarts or maybe you're looking for Call of Duty you know what I mean like not every game is going to be for everybody but maybe you're trying to find that that game that does hook you like a Helldivers yeah I mean there's a lot of good ideas floating around out there they just gotta pick the right one it feels like they uh, just don't understand because it takes Sometimes. seven it takes seven years to make a game now seven years Right, it used to be three and to five. Now it's five to seven. Three hundred million dollars as well. Right, and and then <laughs> unless you wanted to be like sixteen bit or something. I just saw a video before I went live. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I saw Asma Gold talking about. He goes, "Can you imagine trying to have the foresight where, like, he's like seven years, right? Fortnite wasn't it's even awesome. around seven years ago. Think about that, right? And well, they didn't have the foresight, right? So what he's <laughs> saying is, lucky. yeah, what he's saying is that that game's been out. Imagine making a game right now and going, yeah, this is going to be." You, you can't you can't imagine what that game is because you don't know yeah. what it's going to be. Here we are seven years later, and now Fortnite's this massive success and, and and whatnot. But all these companies that right now that are making a game, they're all trying to make the next big game that lasts Ex for and years and years. That's the problem. The ones that are big were never planning on them being as big as they are. And the other people trying to imitate them are building their game right. around the idea that it needs to right. be Right, it needs big. to be that big. Right. And that's where they fail. That's exactly because right. Can't, you can't do that and then fail at it after you spend all that enormous amount of money and then you, you don't get a second chance at another trying to do that to find the next big thing you get one shot and then right and then and then if you the make studio. if you make a game that's successful right let's i, I said it earlier like um if you, if you try to make a, a game like that's like call of duty right but it falls short of call of duty and you, is that a failure because you were trying to make a game like Call of Duty, but it never hit the standard of Call of Duty's like of, of money, of monetization. But it, it did make a shit ton of money, but it didn't make as much as that. So is that a failure? And do they scrap that? Or do they put more money into it to try to keep it going? You know what I mean? Really depends on how much they spent on it to begin right. with to try to right. get the it to Call of Duty. And how many people can they keep playing? It'll be <laughs> worth it if they didn't spend $300 million uh, on that game. And then it is way under underperforming for what they project then that's just a terrible, no, terrible Mike says, I don't think anyone can keep up with Call of Duty to be honest Helldivers bespoke approach uh, to live service is blowing everyone away nobody saw this coming well the, the problem is I, right right nobody saw it coming including themselves right they even Which said that part they, of the problem at first right they even said that they weren't expecting at all they were like a hundred thousand people tops whatever that that's what they were uh, you know so when you make a forty dollar game, can you even? At, there's, it's clear they weren't expecting that kind of, uh, you know, it's successful. I think this is this is at the right time. It's just, it, it, it's just the right place, right time, and right recipe of what they're doing. I think that's all what comes in, and you can't plan this, right? You you could try to plan what they're doing, but they didn't work out. This is just happenstance because of where the industry was, the games that came out ahead of time. Um, I think I think a little bit of everything helped where like Boulder's Gate 3 coming out as a single player game and how much love and tender care they put into that. And then you see the the bigger AAA games like a Starfield, like a Skull and Bones, like a Suicide Squad all failing. And then you see these little guys come out and it just it's just the right time. And then the price point as well. Yeah. Do you think if they knew it was going to be this successful or at least thought it would, do you think the publisher would have let them release it at $40? No way. If this was a $70 game, you wouldn't be getting what you have right now. 
I think now that people know what it is, they'd pay sure. seventy dollars. They would pay seventy dollars for but it. But would it be as successful as it is now if it was it started $70 at seventy dollars? No, with? I don't believe it would be. I don't no. think it would. Yeah. Because the value of this good, game, but I don't think it'd be this good. Right. The value of this game because of the price point it's at is why it's so good. If it was a seventy dollar game and they're like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, That's... I'm not saying the game isn't worth seventy. But the thing is, at forty dollars, it's such a good price point that even if they're buying other games that are super hyped and they're trend hoppers, yeah, like most gamers are, then they still can buy this game and play it. So that's like the perfect price, uh, price point to slip in between other seventy dollar games. I think next week I'm gonna play Starship Troopers. I, they're having an update. They're adding more classes and doing different things. I think I might jump into that just to see what they're doing with that game. I always find it, I always find it funny that people look at this and go, "Oh, this is this is Starship Troopers." I'm like, "You know there's a Starship Troopers game, right? There there <laughs> literally is a Starship Troopers game." They don't even care enough to know that there already is one and that's what they're talking about. Yep. All right, Argus. Uh good playing with you, man. Good talking to you. Yep, as always. See you on the next one. All right, man. Have a good one. Yep. All right, chat. Uh I'm done for the night. I'll be back tomorrow morning. Uh in about 15 minutes before the show starts, I'll figure out what the hell we're doing. Appreciate it very much. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to go above and beyond that, hit the uh, membership button as little as $5. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.